And we are live. Guys, welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined with a full house today, man. We're packed, man. Yeah, this is this is packed. Uh, let's get into it. All the night is my world. Did you like I mean, listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to leave? Serious, get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not half what I've seen. I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe it. It's my All right, we are back, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome, Welcome to the podcast. So, uh, quick announcements, guys. We already got 1,000 plus of you guys in here. Holy crap, it's growing fast. Thank you guys for all the support. So, yep. quickly, patreon.com slash freshfit, where you guys can get all the exclusive behind the scenes content that is not safe for YouTube. You can see uh, pretty much nude interviews, Zoom calls where we talk about making money on crypto, personal real videos, estate, uh, fitness, yeah, personal development in general. Uh, we also answer all your questions with a video <clears throat> response to the 97 tier. Me and Fresh actually got to film a bunch of them after this show tonight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you get involved in our community, man. So check us out there. Oh, and you also get to see all the Frank Castles behind the scenes. Also, check us out on Spotify, Google, and every single podcast platform that you listen to. Just make sure you wear headphones because if you listen to us while you're maybe driving Lyft or something like that, Uber. You might get fired. You'll get fired, bro. You'll get in trouble. One of our <laughs> one of our supporters actually got in trouble for sexism or sexist, being sexist for listening Sheesh. to our podcast out loud with a passenger in the back. So listen at your own discretion with headphones on, all right? Next, uh, freshfitpodcaststore.com, where you guys can get all the t-shirts. You guys can get the I Feel Like t-shirts, right? Like these, the hoodies, right? Uh, uh, for example, shirts, Ninja Watchers, all that stuff is there. Check us out, freshfitpodcaststore.com. We got the I Feel Like t-shirts back in stock, so check it out. And guys, we are almost at 100K subs, guys. Real quick, do us a favor. Chris, could you show them how to do it real quick? Yep. Sub to the channel, guys. It's very important. We're almost there. Yeah, because some of you guys are a little bit slow. You guys don't know how For to real, subscribe man. to the YouTube channel. Uh-oh, retard alert. So we're going to help you guys out with this one, okay? So you're going to go on our YouTube channel, right? And Chris is going to show you how to do it. You're going to go on our YouTube. And uh, so, oh, shout out to our boy AD and No Jumper. So shout you're going to go them. on your, uh, our channel, right? When you're on our channel, then you're going to see Fresh and Fit Clips, right? You're going to click that button right there. And then you're going to hit that uh, subscribe button on the right. It's going to be red when you guys come in. But you're going to click that button. And then you're going to see a bell on the side. Subscribe to the channel. Help us hit 100,000 so that we can get another play button and flex on our haters, okay? We're almost there, man. We're almost there, guys, so help us out. But we hit 400K on our main channel. Yes, we have 400,000 uh, 400, Shout uh, to y'all. <laughs> subscribers today. So thank you so much for the support, guys. And then also, uh, Fresh, you want to talk about your vlog channel? Yeah, the vlog channel, man, is behind the scenes. You get to see me, Myron, Chris, and Trey, and then some of the guests on the show. You get to see some of our dates when we travel, all that stuff. So check it out, the vlog channel. It's going crazy right now. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you guys get to see all the crazy stuff behind there the scenes go. as well. And then, guys, we're on Twitch also, so make sure you close that Pornhub tab, open up another <laughs> tab, do twitch.tv slash freshman podcast. Yep. Watch us in 1080p over there. It's really high quality. It's better than YouTube, to be honest, Way to be honest better. with you. So check us out over there. Also, uh, Chris, you want to tell them about your Twitch? Hey, guys, uh, follow me on Twitch. I just moved to my, to my new place yesterday, so I'm selling in right now. <laughs> my internet will be up on Thursday, so uh, I will start streaming by next week. So let's get it. Yo, All real right, talk. Cool. Chris got a loft, man. He got a loft. <laughs> yeah, shout out hey, to you, Chris. Good yeah. job. Shout out to a loft. Loft niggas. Man. And then uh, any video reactions, guys, DM Trade Talk Sports. Yes. Um, and yeah, we're going to react to three videos today. And then for girls that want to come on the show, man, hold on. Stop this shit. Yo, if you're married, you have a serious boyfriend or whatever, and you want to come to Miami and be on the show, bring his ass with you. Like, yeah. I don't want to deal with no crazy ass Facts, boyfriends. Oh, do you fuck my girl? Look, nah, bro. We, we got enough here. Like, we don't we don't give a fuck about your girl. So nope. bring him with you. <laughs> okay, you can sit in the studio and watch the show. Real talk. So uh, if you want to come on the show, DM Chris, Aaron C. Poxon on Instagram. He does all the scheduling for the girls, guys. He's going to have to schedule you in because we, we have a huge list of girls yeah. that want to come on. We have no problem bringing y'all on if you're not crazy. Uh, just respect the platform, and if you have a serious boyfriend or a husband, bring his ass with you. I don't want to deal with no bullshit. Yeah, don't pretend to be single when you're not single. Yeah, man. Then, uh, fuck out of here. Things happen, man. <laughs> uh, okay, and then on Instagram, hit us up at Fresh Fit Podcast on Instagram because we got our shit hacked. So yep. check us out over there. Almost 10k, almost there. Almost 10k on there. We've only had it for about a week, so get us back up to 10k because the haters are gonna hate. The feminists are coming after me. So uh, with that <laughs> said, guys, um, we got two special guests in the house. By the way, we got Ronnie J and Papier, and Papier in the house. Welcome back, fellas. Two top end music, uh, music producers in the 
top. Industry man, top, I mean, top, top producers minutes. and artists. All in one. And artists. You know what I'm saying? These guys have produced songs for some of the top artists in the industry, man. Yep. So Kanye, yeah, Chris Brown, everybody, everybody, bro. Anyone that you listen to, they pretty much produce music for. Pretty much. So uh, let's introduce the ladies and the guests. Yeah, last. Uh, girls first, and we'll uh, introduce our esteemed guests that uh, for people that might not know, and then we'll read the super chats. So, so ladies, uh, we need to know your name, your age, what you do for a living, and your current dating status. And we'll start right here. Okay, I, my name is Francesca. I'm 23. I'm a master's student at FIU studying accounting, and I'm single. Oh, there you go. Okay. Hi. Welcome back, Maya. <laughs> it's been a while, but I'm glad to be back. I'm Maya. Uh, I'm 22. I'm single, and I'm a model, dancer, influencer, you know, do a bunch of things. But uh, go check out my Instagram and hit that follow button. Welcome back. Welcome back. And next. Hi, I'm Yessi. I'm new here, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, I'm 33, and I'm an influencer model. <laughs> everything. A little bit of everything. All right. Everything they... that you want. <laughs> right, everything that we want. Okay. Excuse me. And Daniela, welcome back. Hi, guys. Daniela, I'm an influencer. What are you going to press right there? I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to bring you closer. I'm, so. like, ah. <laughs> I'm 28 years old. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and I'm single. Single. Oh, wait, stop the show. Hold on, hold on. Stop the show. Last show. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's go. Let's go back in time, real uh, okay, quick, let's right? Let's rewind it. So, <laughs> when you first came on the show, I think you were dating a guy with a with a Lambo, right? And mm. then I think you were uh, dating a guy that was like younger. And then yes. now you're single. Yes. Okay, tell us what happened, cause we gotta know what happened. I'm man. not gonna say what happened, cause I don't like to talk shit. He doesn't make enough money for her, bro. So that's the cliff notes. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. If we're gonna if we're gonna have the cliff notes, he just didn't make enough money for her. Yeah, what it is. There you go. So uh yeah, man. I told y'all, like women are not built to provision long term for men, man. It just don't work that way. Well, look, so. maybe you can't just see single notes. So there you go. Yeah, there you go. So uh go ahead and send your dick pics over to her Instagram. Uh, <laughs> Daniela Andrea underscore. Uh oh. it's Daniela Andrea. All, All right. the links below for the ladies, guys, are yep. uh, on the Instagrams are right in the description box. And they're tagged in the story as well. And they're tagged as well. He, he, they need okay. to send their bank account info, not their dick uh, pics. Oh, there you go. Exactly. Actually, we gotta actually, send cash up. actually, wrong girl. Up. A guy sent sent uh, her his, his bank statement. It was over over a million. Uh, yeah. I, need, I, need yeah. more than, I need more than I need more than over a million. That's you guys oh, know. Shit. That's not total. Surprised. That's not what they have. It's what they're gonna get. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's true. Okay, so you're next. So <laughs> I'm Vanessa. I'm from Houston. I'm a celebrity hairstylist and entrepreneur, and I am 32, and I'm very single. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Hi, my name is Guste. I'm 22. I'm a model and a part-time executive assistant, and I am happily single. All right, happily single. <laughs> happily happily, happily single. married, happily single. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back, Steffi. Thank you. My name is Steffi Boom. I am a professional tattoo artist, actress, musician, and what else do I do? Oh, and I do runway modeling, too, and I'm single. There you go. <laughs> Recently single, Recently too, single, right? too, right? Recently single, too, right? Single, yeah. Come on the show in a relationship, they leave. Come Get back single. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then they blame us for it. Yeah, like, man. Bro, well, we cursed. didn't say nothing. Cursed, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Because we tell the truth and slow jams. I was just gonna say that. (laughs) Hey guys, what's up? It's slow jams, aka SJ. Um, I work at a tax office by day, but at night I spit on the mic. Spin the hot fire. (laughs) Just Just the mic only. Oh, what the fuck, Chris? I don't spend them. I ain't gonna lie. lie. It's a lot of single, but they got dudes, girls up here. Don't cap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Could be. I am very single, so I don't know what you're talking about. I'm single. Okay. <laughs> He's calling you out. We're going to find out tonight. Out. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. I'm Sandra. I'm an entrepreneur starting my own business now, 23 years old, and freelancing through life. <laughs> All right. And current dating status? Oh. Uh, uh, taken. <laughs> all right. Wait, okay. What was that? Uh, the only taken one. About it. one With the long pause and oh. <laughs> that uh as he fills the gap right now, but I'm uh, looking for something better. Shit. Okay. Uh okay. Super chats. Uh, okay, hit some of these super chats. Okay, Jose B305, congrats on 400 k Congrats uh on Chris and new place. Thank, Thank you. So much. Uh, yep. Black Wolfing, 10, uh, 10 hours. Fellas, I don't know how y'all can have 10 girls in one room and resist the urge to meet the Reaper early. Get the blue caps ready and get a freestyle call. Stop the cap. Tonight's show is over 9,000. You already know. Uh, 10 hours showing support from Hawaii. Love y'all content. Keep up the good work. Should come out to Hawaii sometime. Then that's from Mike Shank 808. Thank you so much. We might. Uh, 
Karik Spence, five dollars. What size y'all wear? I want to send some tops from my clothing line. Uh, medium. Uh, I appreciate it, man, but I'm not gonna wear it. Uh, DJ wear it. RP, five dollars. Medium. I wear our shit. I don't wear anything else. I wear it medium. Uh, yeah. Let's get into it, Myron. I'm in the same boat you are. When I make content about women, people view it, but when I hold men accountable, they go ghost. And it is what it is. Uh, girl on the white said, "White bra said, I'm single for the night. Poor simp, ten dollars TV. <laughs> Who said to poor single for the night? I, 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 I don't no know one said they're single I'm for the night, right? No, no one said that. I don't think yeah, anybody said that. that. Um, okay, five dollars. Uh, Clifford Dragon, uh, girl with the fluffy hair. What's happening? I'm not single, but I'm ready to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> I think he means you. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, shout out Ezra McKinney, uh, five dollars, guys. You guys are smart because after this, Chris, what are we gonna do? Uh, 20 up, 20, 20, up. 20, up. 20 up from this point forward, yeah. guys. So get your super chats in now. Okay, uh, shout out to the girl in blue. She can get it. Okay, Maya, you got a fan. Okay, Maya, uh, just satisfaction, five dollars. I, I hope to see Frank Castle today. Uh, who knows? Uh, it might happen, man. OG, five dollars. <laughs> Peace, bros. Keep bringing in homies like Poppy and Ronnie. Both inspire me to keep grinding and thinking outside the box as an artist. Much love as always. There you okay, go. ten dollars from Alex Skills, and we're gonna introduce him here in a second. Yep. Ten dollars. Congrats on the four hundred K, young bloods. Push it to the limit. Been out of pocket for a while, but I'm back on now. Keep killing it, guys. Thank you. Five dollars from Kevin Cole. Congrats on four hundred K subs. It's crazy how much you guys have grown over the past couple of months. Truly inspirational. Redhead can get it. Okay. Um, redhead. Okay. Redhead. Mo Lester. Uh, five dollars. Hey, Mo get the likes up, y'all ninjas. Okay. And then we got a uh, little J five dollars. Oh my God! I know that ain't my baby. Slow jams. Okay. So oh shit! Yeah, fan oh. favorite. Uh, stealth. Um, ten dollars. Sending love from Albania. God damn. Okay. That's far we as hell, bro. A couple, a couple continents in the house. Tonight. Thank you, man. Legend of Society seven. Uh, five dollars. Your real estate episode is so valuable. I just want to ask, when will you guys post a credit building episode? Also, boy, don't be a simp. Uh, don't worry about it, bro. We will do an episode on repairing your credit, and we're gonna yep. do another episode on real estate after I close on these two properties that I'm doing right now. It's just that I can't give guys the details yet until it's closed. Um. And then anything else, Chris? Are we good? Yeah, no, no, hold on one second. Okay, got, uh, how many more? Is it a bunch? Uh, five more, but we got a big chat coming in. Oh, right shit. There. Okay, we already got 4,000 live viewers. Guys, got... thank you so much for the support. We no got... days left. No days left with the big $100 super chat. Question for ladies. Do you think that a man's value comes from how he's viewed from society or your own views of him? We'll make, get there. Make a note of that and save that, Chris. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, we'll and then uh, much respect from Cali. Would you ever do a run of tees and hoodies with just the logo? I'd rock that merch more often. That's $20 from Luis Martinez. Mm. Thank you. Maybe Hussein Al Mufani. Um, Maya, be real for a minute. You've been on three times since these talks. Did you reality click with you yet? Nope. Nah, hell no. <laughs> She's still doing what she always does. <laughs> Shout out to the technical prince. We just flew stuff out to you guys. Love the show. Thank you. All right, we'll check. And then uh, last but not least, $10 to Arm Cholo. Your show is effing awesome, fellas. Thanks uh, to you guys. I fired my BM. Baby mama? Oh, my baby mama. Okay. <laughs> and now I'm self-improving. I'm back in the gym. I'm making more money and smashing E, that's a good uh, keep up the good work, fellas. Okay, all right, hey man, do what awesome, you gotta man. Do. Do what you gotta so do. let's introduce our special guest, man. In the building, man, we got Ronnie J and Poppy Yaro back. Gang, 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 what's gang. up, fellas? Oh, we hit. Let's go, what's good, bro. What's new, man? What's new? What, what's new with y'all? Uh, winning Grammys, making more money, um, <laughs> living life, <laughs> living life, music. Hit records, investments, new cribs. Yeah, yeah, new right. cribs, new cars, investments. Let's you know, go viral. We just, we just going viral, man. Got to. All right. So first question of the night, Fantastic. ladies. Oh, we, got, we got some more here real quick. Uh, no, it's 20 um, off from this point forward. 20, oh, 20, 20 hour super sticker from uh, HH Rivy. So guys, just so you know, we're going to get into the question now. If you guys donate to the to the stream, we're going to put your super chat up. So don't worry. You won't get ignored. Um, it's just that we're only going to read 20 and up for the sake of keeping the show nice and concise. Okay. Yep. Thank you guys for our donations. This money will be used. Uh, to buy strippers and cocaine later. <laughs> All right. So just kidding. Okay, you guys, no, I'm anti-drug. Go ahead. Try. So first question on the panel, guys. So in the current dating market, right? Give us one thing you hate about it, and one thing you love about it, and we'll start right here. Ooh, hate about it. Yeah. So obviously you deal with guys. So like, what do you hate about dealing with guys, and what do you love about dealing with guys currently? I would say hate the immaturity, and. Love meeting new people. Okay. Meeting new guys. Could you explain the immaturity a little bit? <clears throat> sure. I think that a lot of men now focus on the wrong things. Um, What's the wrong things? For example, more like money and looks. I mean, the girls do too, of course. But I think that they don't find substance. Okay. So they just care about the looks? Yeah. You mean their looks? Or Girl, the girls' looks? Oh, yeah. Women's looks. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. Interesting. All right. Maya? <laughs> um, can, can you like skip over me? I gotta think about it for a minute. <laughs> okay. I don't want to do this. It's okay, Maya. We got you. Stupid. Like, All right, we'll move on to this one. 
Okay. Um, I love a man's personality. That's what gets me. I don't care about their looks or anything. It's just how you get me. So personality only? No. Obviously, I got to feel some type of something, too. But the personality of a man is what gets me. So he, he, he could be broke? No, 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 no. You got to have something going on for yourself, obviously. <laughs> obviously, but I don't care about, like, that look, that big. Uh, no, because you can be a nothing in your head. I like somebody that gives me, like, something good to talk so about. So looks don't matter. They, I got to be interested, obviously. But I'm not going to, like, just go all the way in deep, slide in. If I don't connect, you know, I just got to connect chemistry, you know? Okay. And okay. Okay. I don't like, I, I, don't, I swear, I swear to God, I don't, I don't like like strong uh, guys like that. I just like how you, like how I feel about <laughs> you when I meet you. And if I feel a good vibe, that's how I'll keep going. Okay. So, okay. And what do you like? What do I like? Okay, the personality of my man that knows how to carry himself, that knows how to represent me as a woman, that can do something for himself. Okay, so you don't want a bum, gotcha. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That just took a long way. <laughs> Fantastic way answer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Daniela, you're back on the market. What do you, you. What do you love Honestly, about it? What do you hate about it? I hate guys that lie that they got what they don't have. Like, if you don't have it, work for it, and then say when you got it, you know? Mm -hmm. I hate liars, like... Just be straight up, you know. And I don't know. I don't think I love anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> Relatable. Okay, let's say you want to meet a guy. What do you have to have for you to say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try again. Oh shit. Okay, <laughs> the list is very long. Um, the ones that know me from the show know that I don't give a fuck. So <laughs> you need to make at least four million dollars a year. <laughs> Bro. Myron says if the if the doors don't go up, the pants stay up, which is true. <laughs> McLaren, That's man, McLaren. Said. That's what I said with Daniela. <laughs> Doors got to go up for those panties to go down, guys. Yep. So that's how she rolls. <laughs> All right. At least cool. she admits it, though. Yeah, she's honest, man. I'm she's honest, honest about it. You know? I like honesty. All okay. Right. Ronnie J. What's up, bro? For you. One thing you hate about it, one thing you like about the current dating market. Um. Honestly, I hate how, like, a lot of girls just don't really have any morals. Mm. Like, I've. I found a girl that actually has a lot of morals. So like, you know, I'm I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and then one thing um, you, you like about it, or how did you find this one? How did I find this one? It yeah. was organic. It was at like a house party. Mm. I just seen her and I wanted her. And I fucking got her. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, man. I love that. Fisherman, oh man. God. Personality, that. there we go. All right. <laughs> Smooth. Happy year. What about you, bro? Um, wavy, yeah, way too wavy. <laughs> you know, you know the vibes. Mm -hmm. I mean, one thing I dislike about the the dating scene is I, I think a lot of people are just lost. A lot of women, facts, of, just Big people facts. are just they're kind of just lost in the sauce. They just everybody's big followers. Everybody just follows social media, follows celebrities, follows influencers. No one can like really just think for themselves. So I just think like a lot of girls are followers. And they just lost. And not it's, a fact. It's, there's not really a lot up here. So, mm -hmm. my stop. And what do you love about it? Or like about it? Mm, I just think that when you when you are what you attract. So, for me, I'm, a, I'm an intellectual, spiritual man. So, I always attract those type of girls. The girls that actually have substance. So, you know, you are. <laughs> but, so no um, dumb pimples for uh, Papier then. Okay, I'll take them. That's only, fine. Only smart women. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, you know, they, they come around, but, you know. The ones, you know that, the ones that stay around. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I got you. <laughs> All right. Enough. Vanessa? Um, I feel like a Trojan lot of shores. people are followers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, they're always trying to cap. They're always trying to follow, like, something. They don't really have their own... They don't really know what they really want to do, you know? So people like to stand and try to, like, show that there's something that they're not. And mm -hmm. if you can't hold an intellectual conversation with me, I get bored. Like, I need you to stimulate my mind as well as my body. Because, I mean, if not, like, it's, you know, just just like they do, like, everybody got options. 
Did you guys talk before the show? Because I feel like he's like, uh, yeah. that. that's funny. I think there she copied go. me. Copy. Yeah. But it's cool. It's cool. It's no, cool. I, I didn't have enough time to think of something else. I was already thinking about that. Then you said it. So I was like, well, at least I'm sitting next to someone intelligent. She copied. Yeah, Grandma's think right. alike. There you go. <laughs> okay. Pop it off. All right. One thing I don't like about the dating scene right now is like when you meet a guy or go on dates, they're always expecting something sexual and they're never content with just being friends and just hanging out, which I don't like. Why not just be friends? Eat! Why do you have to expect something out of me? You know, I don't owe you anything. Mm -hmm. And something I like about the dating scene is I enjoy make, like making friends with new people. I enjoy conversating, new opportunities, new experiences. <coughs> so you're it's not fun. trying to, you're not trying to smash? No. Do you think men and <laughs> no. women could be platonic friends? That's a tricky one. I, I think so. More on the woman's end. I feel like a lot of the time guys just keep girls around as friends because one day they'll just end up fucking them and they'll oh. have a chance, which is... <laughs> At least you know. <laughs> so, see, so well, that's a problem. So I, I guess the answer up. is, they can they be platonic friends or not? Yes or no? Yes, it's possible. Anything's possible. <laughs> okay, fantastic. <laughs> Uh, no. I live in a Disney dream tale as well. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of platonic guy friends that would reject me if I tried hooking up with them. Oh my god. We tested That's this one. So this is the wrong podcast I do. So you you, you want to test it? No. <laughs> I think, we should, I think we should test it. Yeah, yeah. Let's make this viral. Well, you want me to call someone and yeah. ask them if they yeah. want to hook yeah. up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If, no, you, no. if you call oh. him and say, I'm horny. He's gonna try to smash. Yeah. I'm horny. Where you not at? gonna try to smash you. You're hot. I, I ain't gonna lie, mine. We should do that. Yeah, we're it's, right. it's a lot of. Yeah. Where's the cap you know, set? Let me go around the table. Can, uh, do all the ladies here think men and women could be platonic friends? Yes or no? No. We did a whole podcast on this before. <laughs> you no think yes or no? My answer is yes because it worked the last time. Okay. Hell to the no. No. <laughs> I speak from experience. Yes. Lol. Okay. <laughs> and I, I you said yes. yes. What about yeah. you? Yes. Yes. Um, Yes. Maya? Uh, in the middle of a yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. You think yes too? In the no, middle of no, a no, yes. No, 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 no. Keep, keep it. Keep it. Okay, keep it. Yes. Keep it. Okay. Okay. What about, what about you? you? They... <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll okay. Do that. Um, okay. Uh, let's continue on. Sorry. Steffi, what about you? Oh. um. What you like and what you don't like? <laughs> well, I, I really haven't dated in a long time. <laughs> Um, What's a long time? It's been a month. Babe. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Like, like I was in a relationship for three years. <laughs> that's different. That's than dating. Going out. No, that's not dating. Like dating is when you're out meeting people and going on dates. So I haven't done that yet. Um, um, but what I do like about dating, I mean, it's just meeting new people and and getting to know them and trying to find that connection. Because for me, it's all about chemistry. Um, what I don't like about it, I mean, it's phony shit. <laughs> um, I'm very into artistic people. I'm very into people that definitely use their brains. Obviously, good looking. I have to be attracted to you. I'm not going to front on that end. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> it's just weird because when you meet somebody and you get to know them, it can bring out the beauty in somebody. So even if they're not your ideal beautiful they still are beautiful. Wow. Like I've met the most attractive people and they open their mouths and they're just whack <sighs> as hell. And suddenly they're just ugly to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So for me, a big deal is just getting to know the person. If I vibe with you, I vibe with you. That's, that's real. That's, that's real. <laughs> Respectful. That's where I'm at. <laughs> Soul Jams. Okay. What I like about a dating scene, I like that it's endless. Like, and it's like, options. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? Like, fuck <laughs> us, cool, next. <laughs> what I like, um, what I don't I like, like about it, I don't like when, you know, um, let's say we have a disagreement and then you start fucking with me off a of disagreement. I think that's whack because how the fuck we don't get to know each other past a disagreement ever. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't like starting over all the time. It's whack. You think they're like immature sometimes? Not immature, it's just like you linear, you're not thinking. Bigger than how you could, but you think in one way instead of thinking multiple ways about shit. So what's one example on a disagreement? Um, I'm trying to think. It's like it's a lot of my <laughs> disagreements. Um, you be arguing with niggas? <laughs> nah, it's not an argument. I'd be talking with them. I never oh, argue with them. Okay. I actually talk with them see what they think about shit. Oh, so you nag them. Hey, can you cook me some dinner? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> okay, like someone I know, someone I know, they want to travel the world through Airbnbs, mm. but I don't. And we have different reasons for that. Like, uh -huh. I don't want to, you know, just not fuck with you because of that that disagreement. But I can't. I could still be your friend, or I could still probably still be your girlfriend. Mm. But I won't go with you around the world through Airbnbs. I have shit to do over here that I have to get done. Mm. So, so same like values. Same so you, you got your priorities straight. You got it. Okay. Yeah. So you won't you won't give up your dream for his dreams. Um. I mean, he that type of dream. He could do that all the time. So I'm not gonna give up. Like you could travel any day, any time. I can't just 
get all these opportunities every single day at any time. Right. It depends on whose career has the most motion at the time. Like he ain't the one then. He he, he ain't the yeah, one. Oh so, yeah. All right. All right. Fair enough. What you like and what you don't like. What I like. Okay. The dating scene is super fun. You get to meet whoever you want, do whatever you want. No Don't you got a boyfriend, gang? Like, <laughs> wait, ain't you the one with the wait, boyfriend? Wait, 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 you go home and you're happy. You don't have to like worry about what they're doing. Like you're just doing you. And then what I don't like is that those same people tie you down. <laughs> they tie you down? <laughs> they tie you down. They're like, oh yeah, we're having fun, you know. And like they keep hanging out with you and they just they tie you down. Is that how you feel right now? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta <laughs> talk into a mic. No, 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 so no. Can hear you. No, no. There you go. Now I now I like it, you know. <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> but I'm telling you guys what I do like it what i do like about it and then what i don't like okay. for some reason when it comes to men like whenever you don't want them they always want you it's like why can't we be on the same page like why can't we just not want each other they like the chase <laughs> they love the chase they love, they love, they love the chase yeah all right all right super chats here real quick um, a bunch of these and that is why we tell you guys on this podcast you don't chase after girls you replace them you know what i'm saying they don't respect you when you chase them uh okay no days left hundred dollars also what makes you overlook the bad qualities or shortcomings of a man and still stay with him and do you think a man should judge you off your flaws as do you do what as you, as you do, do them as as you do them okay if i guys please spell check your super chats yeah. before you send them in if i call a girl big i'm a fat shamer but if a girl doesn't want a man based off his height He's doing her dead. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. That's true, bro. And remember, man, only women are allowed to have preferences. If you have preferences, consider discrimination. <laughs> you say, no fat chicks. Oh, my God, you're a toxic misogynist. But if they say, I don't want no short guys, oh, you go, girl. <laughs> you should be able to wear your heels. Um, okay, Gabriel Circu, uh, they all single, just friends and a few friends. Just friends and a few friends for benefits for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're funny. Nigga. Yeah, that's, that's pretty true. Okay, yeah. Sam Thief, 20 yards. Y'all have been helping me see... Uh, how much more worth and leverage I have in relationships at my age, 90th percentile of earners at my age and over six feet, going to start leveraging that way more. Absolutely. Um, and then uh, $50 from our boy, Mr. Stilio Blocks. Uh, just checking in, working on the Bitcoin miners. Let me quote some Shakespeare. She doth belong to the avenues over yonder. I got you, my friend. Twenty dollars from Black Panther. Slow jams is fine as hell. Bring that ass to Wakanda and spit on my vibranium mic. Shout out to Wakanda, bro. Uh, Quartz has the press twenty dollars super sticker. Thanks Thank so much, you, Gabriel Circu. You need to do a show with Danielle Andrea DMs. Uh, less skin, more value, Andrea. First time looking at your Instagram. See, I knew guys were gonna uh, Yo, love her. <laughs> Daniela, what do yeah. you think? We do a show going through your your DMs. Oh my god, you guys would have so much fun. <laughs> I can't imagine. I I, li I really see them all. I just don't reply, but I I, I see you guys when you DM me. I really do. <laughs> you, don't have a, you don't have a Lambo or a blue check chain responder. I'm not responding regardless, but you yeah. know. Uh, Fifty dollars. Uh, MD Monroe, a uh, girl on date who's advertised as a date plus not a virgin. It's like a dealership advertising test cars, and after paying the entrance fee, saying you can't test drive, you can just look while others drive and read the brochure. What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ronald Jackies uh, Jr. White top and black pants shown as fuck. Yo, <laughs> white top and black pants. What is, black who the fuck is that? Everybody Yo. looking now. Everybody trying to look. Oh, shown as fuck. Okay, what does shown mean? Uh, I don't that know. That means a hoe, bro. Oh, oh that means whore. Yeah. You're wrong, sir. Hundred percent. Oh, I've never heard that. That's the only one. That's a Florida. That's a Florida. Oh, it's Florida. Yeah, Florida. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Wow, he must be old. He must be old as fuck. <laughs> Mercedes of Grace, 20 bucks. Okay, if you find her sexually unattractive <laughs> and find an abundance mindset, being platonic friends is easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, we're good. We're caught up. Um, caught right. up. So uh, I guess, Maya, did you have an answer for that now? Something yeah, you I hate? Know. Okay. okay. Something you hate, something you like about the dating market. Okay, so something, oh, I hate about, <laughs> something I hate about the dating market is the fact that, like, men have to feel like they have, well, not have to feel like but like they just have to have a piece of a cake and then the whole cake like why can't you just like 
be loyal to just like one girl. Like I get it. There's like I know we've been through this a million times. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say about six hundred times. Let me, just let me speak. Oh. Um, no, go ahead. Okay, but like I understand. Like you can look what's on the menu, but if you have a good girl and she's doing everything right, and they even tell you that you're doing everything right, there's like no reason to sit there and like have to have like mad other girls, whatever. But <laughs> um for as fact as loving um the dating scene i would say i love when a guy can severely open up and be very passionate and very loving and show that like he can give you a bunch of love he's not scared to do it especially in front of his boys who cares like if you love a girl you should be able to show love no matter what and you should be proud of it like that's your girl <laughs> oh, no, sorry my bad my finger slipped there that's not gay. It shouldn't, <laughs> you guys shouldn't bag on guys, though. Like, if you passionately love a girl, like, what's wrong with that? Why can't you show love if she shows you love? Babe, like, have, have you, you, have you been it? on the show before? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maya, many, many you're reasons. in our intro. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, I know. so um, any, any, uh, anything else, Maya? So what, no. that's one thing you hate, and then what do you like? I just said. What I, oh, when they okay. show love. Yeah, yeah, show love. Oh, so you do you, like that. Okay, and yeah, then the other thing you hate is they don't... they're. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. have multiple women. You got to share them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, well, we went over that a million times. Yeah, yeah. I'll share with you. Um, next okay. question. I still won't change that. Next question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So, on the panel, have you ever been on a date, right? Well, you know you didn't, you didn't like person at all, but you wanted free food or free drinks, and you went out anyway. <laughs> Tell us if you did, and then how, how was that experience? Never. Mm. Never? <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy because y'all have women here telling you what it is and you still don't believe it. <laughs> but it's more it's more than once. Like it's multiple. Let me women. let me let me let me clarify. Wait, can you ask the question again? Yeah, let me clarify the question. <laughs> uh, uh, let me clarify. Have you ever been on a date with a male that you had no intention of having sex with, but you went out on the date with him anyway? Of course. Why do you think everybody's out here just fucking everybody? Okay. No, for real. <laughs> you have they to think earn that. You know, like I'm not accessible to everybody. I could give right, you an opportunity true. to present yourself correctly, uh -huh. but that doesn't mean you're just gonna get it. Okay. And plus, my time is also valuable. So, yeah. for me to even consider going on a date with you means like, okay, you know, like I see some type of potential, but that doesn't mean you just got it. It's okay. never a short thing. So, uh, so in that case, that's a yes. You have went out with a guy that you had zero intention of having sex with. With that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's that's yeah. exactly what I asked. Yeah. So is the, the answer is yes all around? It looks like I yes, see everyone yes. nodding their head. Yes. Yeah. Well, saying it like that, we understand it more. But why why is that using them for food? Like, like yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that doesn't correlate with the question, the original question you asked at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. It, it actually does because think about this, right? You know for a fact you don't like the guy. Ask the question again. No. The Have you ever been on a date, mm -hmm. right? With a guy you, you didn't like, but you wanted free food or free drinks? No. no. It's not I'm about not free food or drinks. Yeah. Like. Yeah. You know, I'm not drink. interested. I won't go. I, 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 for food or drinks, like no. no. This I is pure cap. Very well. I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, okay. That's why. That's wait, why wait, I said wait. you got to rephrase it that way. So let, let me ask. Like yeah. I said, I'm gonna make it perfectly clear for you guys. Have you been on a date with a person of the opposite gender, a guy that you had zero intention of having sex with? Simple as that. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's that's, that's how it should be. Instead of like food and drinks. Food and drinks. Yeah. Now here's the difference. Here's the difference. Let me ask the guys in the room. Have any of you been on a date with a woman that you had zero intention of having sex with? No. Exactly. That's the difference, ladies. We That's don't waste our time with opposite gender so, yeah. like you guys do. So, what <laughs> is, so, what, so when, when you said earlier, hey, I've been on dates and they wanted to smash is because they were into you. They wanted to smash. You don't know me like that. You don't know my personality. I could be a complete bitch and you still want to fuck me. That's disgusting. Yes. But Ew. see, but yeah, that's, shallow what, as fuck. that's what guys think, though. Well, so, then you're not my type of man and I'm not going to fuck that's you. That's why we know we have oh, to be well. careful because at this point in our lives, we know <laughs> y'all only think with your dick. <laughs> now it's up to me to decide if I want it or not. And you're right. And, and look. here's the thing, though. We also give people chances. Like you ask us on a date, we find you attractive. We're going to go on a date with you to get to know you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean we're going on this date like, oh, my God, this guy's attractive. We're going to fuck him on the first <laughs> and time. And usually we don't when they you, do, bro. then you go talking shit. Oh, yeah, she a whole ass mask right away. Yeah. Here's the problem, right? <laughs> what happens is we'll go on a date with you, right? One date, two date, three date, four date. And nothing happens. That's because you suck. Yeah, yes. No, no, yeah. Yeah. no. That means no, no. she kept giving you but, chances. And no, didn't come but failed, bro. Uh -huh. you you failed. Failed. He's <laughs> paying for all these dates. It's not that right. Not necessarily. You're paying for all these dates. But here's the thing. Me personally, mm -hmm. I man, 
I'm the kind of girl that at some point, like, I feel bad. I feel kind of embarrassed. Oh my God, hit that stupid when... button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I go. Listen, I've had people pay, pay for my dates, but I am that kind of person where at some point I'm like, yo, like, let me get you this time. I'm not like you, Daniela. I'm not for a Lamborghini kind of guy all the time. I am. I made the that's mistake one me. time of paying for a guy's shit and look, and, it was horrible. And, that, and that's okay. Listen, <laughs> listen, babe, I can it afford $50. Horrible. I can afford a $100 yeah. date. That's but, all good with me. The difference is that... One at a time, ladies. One at a time. Go the, difference, the difference is like a man is supposed to provide for you. Yes. We, we as women are supposed to do other stuff. We're supposed to clean, cook, support them, make yeah, sure that they're good, make sure that... I can't relate. Well, that's a woman's job though no that's it that's is tradition. i just know and, uh, and that, listen for, that's that's, that's how you feel and that's okay like many many women feel that way and 100 percent. like i feel like there's a point in your life where if you got babies you're gonna be a mom you're gonna be a wifey 100 percent. i'm with yeah. that you can still but, do your shit but i like to work too of course, I, like I like to, to work too. i like to spoil my man too I, do I like love to, to do that I shit. Like to, I like I, I'm not gonna lie. In bed. If I'm rich, I'll oh, be yes. a sugar mama. Hold on. That's oh, the no, 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 no. Hold on. Okay, Poppy or Ronnie, chime in real quick. You guys have some? I will. Go ahead. Can, can you rephrase on what you want us to chime in on? Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. Say something. Yeah. Because I know you want to say something. Her comments. I mean, what is your what is your definition of it? Because you said you don't believe in a traditional woman. What do you believe in? Like I said, like I'm all for being spoiled and spoiling my man. Like, so, I love but, it. I but, love to give you, and I love to get. But you say you disagree with being a traditional woman, like cooking and cleaning. So and stuff. I feel like when a lot Merch. of women Merch. feel like off rip, that's something that they're just obliged to do from the get go. And for me, it's more like it depends on the roles you're playing with your relationship. For example, my man could be the house man, he could be the one taking care of the kids. Which, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. But listen to me. It depends on where you're at. So what if what if he's studying and you're the one with the career and you're the one working and you're gonna but hold are you, you? So are, why are you dating him? Hold on. Can I, can I why interject? are you dating him? Can I interject? Yeah. Are you, yeah. are you, but you said children. Are you even gonna be with a man that's that, that's yes. not gonna be able to financially provide exactly. for you? Mm. Like, he's gonna provide don't, for yes, like, don't I don't know. Like I'm gonna so, be honest. Like I feel like I have been with a man that can't financially provide. And you're, and you're not. And you're, not you're gonna hurt his maybe, ego. A man maybe, has to have oh, I, 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 I agree. Ego, I agree. Feel good, I know? I agree that men are like that. They gotta 100%. feel some type of way. But that doesn't mean that that's how I run and how I roll. Just but because you, a man is a certain way doesn't mean I'm gonna change the way that I. But yeah, you're obviously not with him no more. Yeah. I mean, for sure. But listen, <laughs> but listen, like, listen are you gonna, are you gonna keep thing. repeating that cycle? Here's the, <laughs> why women Come on, I'm, need I'm just, to stay I'm just traditional the and it should be men taking yes. over the house and men yes. should not be no. Yeah. Women are supposed to cook, clean, and take nah. care of the man. I don't want to be I don't want to be the cooking and cooking. Help them out. Work I mean, like I mean look, I, I feel like look fuck them good. I just this and this happened in the last episode. I feel like women just like yo, like just be a hundred, like Y'all are not going to date a dude that's not going to financially provide. Exactly. And if mm-hmm. you are, you're probably going to end up dealing with another dude that can't well, understand. You're going to grow the or, or, you, or you're going to you're not going to like him. Or, or you're going to like I I feel like, feel like you have the power point of being in a relationship is y'all should be helping each other grow and be the best you can yes. be and be successful together. So I definitely want to be able to provide for my family and I want my man to provide for the family equally. And if we got to take turns doing that, I'm all that for is that. So so that you're saying perfect. you'll be with a man that's broke. Yes, no, 100%. That is, what if you're I, saying if is, I, no. If I connect yeah. with somebody and they have potential and I see that and they're working <laughs> towards that, I will be that girl. But when 100%. you just... You just if they're not so, really so, shit, but what's yeah. the number? No, what's, no, what's, no. What's, what's, what's the threshold? What's the actual number? What's the number you're, for what? Like, you'll be with a man that makes 20000 a year? I mean, shit. Yeah, I've been in a position where I'm making 10000 a year and I feel like shit. I'm talking about I'm a man, right? though. Not yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, are we surviving? Are we in a one-bedroom apartment and we can afford it and we're good and we're safe? I mean, 20000 is not going like to get I you said, one bedroom in like, Miami. Like, babe, I think listen. she's trying to mean that she'll do that after you know the person and if, he, if he's, you yes, know, you're if, right if, or if, die. Listen, I would do I it could, knowing the person. See, if, yes. But now you're not going to get with a person that you know. We got to figure out the temperament of the room. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go around the table real quick. What is the bare minimum? Minimum required for a man to date you. Let's start with that. Let's start uh right here. How much do they got to earn per year? Because she started last way. time. I started last time. No, no, she Anyways, started last I'll time. Go. Yeah. Bare minimum. Bare minimum per year. They got to earn for you. Mm. That will uh, help oh, pop, pop with yeah. Bare minimum annual. Ninety k. Okay. Okay. Maya. <laughs> One out of hundred. Uh, yeah, I'd say, I was thinking a hundred, but I was like, let me hundred thousand. That's fine. Hundred thousand. I'd say between a hundred thousand and five hundred thousand. Okay. Okay. What about you? I mean, 
they gotta make more, more than me or there so 150 150 bare minimum yeah, you make like, more than you that you make 150 you make more than that, that. I know, but no but <laughs> that's no, the thing babe, like you don't gotta put me all over <laughs> there's nothing wrong I love with that you. I, I love I you need, honestly, I'm just, honestly i'm just like i'm just like somebody in my standards i'm gonna look I for somebody so, i don't okay i'm running out of hats so how many how many how much 150 150 per year okay what about you bullshit <laughs> all right, so she really needs like two hundred thousand. No, I, yeah, I, I can tell it's her first time here. She's been lying through my, her teeth. The my whole night. man needs to make like way more money than me because I hate when guys feel intimidated. Thank you like, for being honest, Danielle. No. So you need way you need more. half a mil. Like no more. Like, oh, like you need to make like ten times the amount of money that I make, so he feels like you know. Okay. Has the balls so he can tell you what to do. Absolutely. So he can tell you, hey, shut the fuck up. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. What about you? I know well, your number, but go ahead. Well, I make six figures, so I need you to at least, for me to start taking you seriously, you need to make a couple mil a year, and then <laughs> we can grow okay, from there. Okay, fair enough. Okay. I would say 75K. Okay, bare minimum? Uh, yeah. Okay. You have so much Honestly, potential. Honestly, I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't. Okay. I don't, okay. I don't because, I mean, like I said. Well, you're willing to support him, so you don't care, right? <laughs> no, listen, <laughs> mama. listen, yo, straight up. She said she'll take the twenty k dude. <laughs> that's what you said. Like I said, bro, it's all about chemistry, man. If I see somebody with ambition and I fuck with them, that's all that matters. As long as you go, as long as you go, we'll go together. A twenty k dude is living with his mother. No, not really. No, no, no. what about you? Maya, what about you? Not in high school. Eighty k, fair enough. And then what about you? Fair minimum? Like one fifty at least. Hundred fifty thousand per year. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so going back, cause, uh, cause you're, so you're saying that you would date a guy that makes less money than you, or you would tolerate it for a bit. Yeah. If I okay. have to. Yeah, man. I, I know the struggle. Listen, I didn't come. I'm not rich. Okay. I didn't come from a rich home. You know okay. What I, mean? I get so, that. I can I say Never. something? Listen, I've been through yeah, my I experience with a man that I was with for six years. My ex, um, I'm not a great man. Um, he was in a, he was. Uh, he's always been successful, but he had a, a downtime. He got, but that's uh, different. He he got, you know, locked up. I waited for him when he got out. I was the one providing, but I didn't meet him like that. That you, I'm a ride or die exactly. because of the what we created as a I couple. Think, as a, that, I will ride or die with my man for the end, a hundred percent. But wait, you're not that, with him now, though. No, because of other problems. No, that was three years ago. I was after that three years with him. So. Ride or die means ride or die. Ride or die. That's yo, what? sounds like me. It was right away. <laughs> right away, three years. Yo, three yo, years. Yo, guys. Yeah. After. I'm, so three years after he came out, after you left him. Came, I did not leave. Him. You don't even know him. You didn't leave him. So nobody, what happened then? Nothing. Thanks. We just disagreed, and he got successful again. We were both. We're both successful. We're so both doing good. When you, you know? met him, he was successful. He was on a decent. You know, so like, that's different then. That's decent. Exactly. That's we saying. met in yeah. a yeah. new you're well, in a relationship like it. with someone and they saying. fall, that's fine. That's, that's, that's why you gotta be a writer. That, that's yeah. fine. He, he you gotta be yeah. yeah. attracted yeah. you when I, you I, like, I feel like he had something going on. Hold on, guys, guys, guys. One at a time. One at a time. Okay. I've been trying to say it. One at a time. Let me talk. Yeah, go ahead. So if you meet it, like if you meet someone that's successful and they have a downfall, that's different. Like I wouldn't leave my man because something happened and you know, then of course, like you help him get back up. But meeting him, like I don't want my man. I don't want to make more money than my yeah. man. Those relationships don't work. Yeah. To be yeah. fair, I I feel like you obviously attract people that are at your level or higher, exactly. or that's the yeah. goal. So Not I guess really. the relevance. I mean, <clears throat> you gotta have standard, like you know. You can't yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I don't. I don't feel like you attract people that's on your level. It's just like yo, you could be. You could be like. I, I mean, you could be I a mean, millionaire. You could have you a could... crackhead following you. You're not gonna let her follow nah, you. No, I'm just saying, like <laughs> as a man, you could be a multi-millionaire. You could be dating a girl that's making 20, 30 k. But right. a man is different than a woman. Like, yeah. a woman right. As a man, we're not really looking for a girl to because of what she does. We're looking for her, like, yo, can she be my peace? I love that. My trust her. Can she be loyal? Yes. And, that's how and always ride with you. Always. So okay, I want to know the story. So he he went to jail. You you waited for him. He came out, and then what happened? He made his money we, back up, and then why'd you guys no, break up? No, it's, it's not even... Guys, I don't even want to get into this. Oh, like, shit. Like, you started like, it. He had, no, <laughs> okay. I was in a relationship for six years. Uh-huh. We were together for like two, a year and a half, and he start, He had his issues or whatever, and then he got locked up. I waited for him a year and a year. You're amazing. And then, um, yeah, no. I waited for him when he got back, when he got out, he was in probation. He couldn't do it, like nothing with his life. You know, he got out of probation. Now he's a very successful man. Everything we build all, all that together, side by side. You know, I respect for you. He respects me. We have no drama. Everything we've been side to side. 
nothing so bad. You guys to say are still together him. then? No, at all, at all. We've oh. been broken up for a long time, but w I have nothing bad to say about him. I'm just saying a story of my life that I will ride with my man, no matter what. Oh, you're going through a bad situation, but I will not just now just meeting a so guy randomly. Um, we just things just weren't working out, and it was a mutual decision. No drama, no mutual, nothing. mutual, mutual. <laughs> mutual my English, I am Kiwana. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. It's just that we always <laughs> laugh when girls say mutual. Nine out of well, ten times, well, it was it's a mutual. It was a mutual. You know, it just we we weren't okay. just getting along. So That's it. we got a video to play here. <laughs> to talk about what we, we got a video. Okay, let's do it. And flee date. So let's pull up here if you don't mind, Chris. All right, we're gonna we're gonna react to a video here, guys. Um, man, this is so much cat, bro. Holy yeah, yeah, shit, man. Bro. I'm running out of hats over here. Uh. I put on three today. Yeah. God damn. Right. Here, you, you want to give me some? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you're friends. They're your friends. <laughs> okay, so oh I'm just bait. Uno reverse card. He goes, oh, my God. She tried to finesse him for a meal, and he cut and left her with the bill. This is awesome. Let's play this. <laughs> so uh, go up a little bit, Chris. So she's like, this shit too easy. Third suck of this month. Hashtag free meals. Hashtag finesse gang. Hashtag hot girl summer. Hashtag no cap for you. That's a broke ass. No pussy for that. But don't forget that you have standards and the type of person you associate yourself with. That's what somebody I'm, that I would at least give a chance for would yeah. never. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on. Fight hold on, hold on, ladies. Hold okay. On. And then, okay. okay. So go. Hold on, little Chris. So um, as you guys can see, so, so this dude gets see he sees this post right. His boy sees the post on Instagram. Yeah. And he messages him. He says, "Bro, tell me you ain't with that Morgan chick from Peckham. This is in England, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the royal with her now. Question mark. Why? Uh, bro, she just posted this on her a private Insta story and then bang. And then she shows that and then he goes, let's see how she going to finesse the bill when I leave. Oh my God. How, 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 yeah. how petty and how Wait, wait, wait. Ridiculous. How is that her private Insta story when it's like, uh, literally shows the edits above it? Because you can oh, add people yeah, to your private it. story. Yeah, you can. She probably cut some parts off. Okay. Want to see so we're going to play this right now. Hello. Where are you? Listen, it's time you got hustled. Don't ever try hustle, man. Yo, you got the bill, yeah? No. Yeah, of course I left you there. The same way when I came out the way to grab ya. Yo. Say that again. Listen, listen. Where's that 500 pound gun, blood? Where's that 500 pound gun? Where's the 500 pound? Where's the fire? Yeah, you're a fucking liar. You're a fucking oh liar. Fucking liar. liar. <laughs> don't, I don't give a fuck. Don't ever try to this hustle, man, right blood. Reality I mean, check. Fix yourself up. Fuck well, you. That's just fuck you, ugly. blood. I don't give a fuck if everybody's staring. Both of them. Fuck I think you, both blood. You deserve it. You little fucking bitch. Fuck you. Yeah. 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 This is what you deserve. You're just feeling embarrassed. He's toxic. He's toxic. Okay. So, your reaction to this video. First and foremost. Yeah. <laughs> the mom, the mom, All right. My mom, man mom. winning. Yeah. All right. Let's, he uh, he, the... he won a huge L. But ladies, thoughts on the video. I'm gonna start. Uh, we can start here because she started last time. Yeah. Thoughts on the video. <laughs> what do you think about it? Is, it? is it good? Is it bad? Like, was he wrong? Was was she right? <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. She was trying to be like, I'm going to finesse this one and this one. And she got caught. So she was like, oh, my God, let me try not to get caught now. But, like, I highly doubt she cared. Yeah, probably. Oh, it sounded like she cared. Well, no, I'm that bill. Sure she she cared. was crying, bro. That she bill she like, got paid. Oh, my God, let me make it up to you. But, like, I really don't care. I'm just going to give you the show. Yeah, if, mm. if, it's, if it's real, she got to pay the bill. So, yeah. Thoughts on the video? She yeah. real shysty. Girl, I got a real thing I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say something real, real. <laughs> Number one, don't fuck with somebody who you think is gonna post that shit. <laughs> but my other real thing is bitch, don't post that shit. If yes. that's your mission, then that's your mission. That's, like, petty. Like, that's, like, no. that's some real shit though. Oh my god. God damn. Morpheus over here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. If that's real, she deserves <laughs> that shit. No. That shit was fucking hilarious, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. The yeah, fuck? Grimy ass shit, yo. You a scammer, you fucking suck. That's all I gotta say to that. <laughs> there you go. Fair enough. Yeah, no, that was disrespectful as fuck. Like, you're fully on a date, and <laughs> while you're there, you're posting behind the guy's back how you're finessing him. I mean, she had what was coming. Yeah, that's crazy. I think she deserved it. Like, honestly, reciprocate the energy. Like, you wanna be ugly, then you gonna get something ugly. <laughs> Back. Fair enough. Pop here. Well, I don't know. My take is a little different. <laughs> okay. I think that 
she was the only difference between her and most girls is she was just more blatant about it. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So girls probably most girls are probably thinking that just like how we were saying earlier. Most girls are probably thinking like, yeah, I'm a finesse this dude. Ah, ah, they just not vocal or they don't post it. They you get what it. I'm saying? But me personally, like if I meet a girl, I usually don't even do dinner as a first date. Mm. Because it's like at dinner, you don't really you don't even know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I might just do something fun or something cool so we can actually catch a vibe. It's pretty dope. Not yeah, just, not like just, that. yeah, not just eat yeah, and learning. just. It's, it's weird. I like I'm that. learning. Yeah, I like for me, like, I'll do something fly and cool, but it's never going to be dinner first day. Like, I learned that from my OGs. Like, you'll really know if a girl like you, if she vibe with you, mm-hmm. if y'all are just doing something cool and fun. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But dinner is just kind of like, uh. Awkward. That's, yeah. that was that's true. Too. Something like, yeah, dinner. some stuff like that could happen. That's that's very smooth, and that's seven hundred dollars yeah. US for out there for the yeah. people that are wondering. It was five hundred British pounds, but that's that's about seven hundred dollars US. Yeah. You guys really think the majority of women want to use you for dinner, though? No, 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 I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, no, no, no that's crazy. Not. we're saying we're not we're all a, like that. No, 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 we're, no, we're saying it happens all the time, but guys don't know about it. So to protect yourself, don't fall for that trap. All right, all right, hold on, no, 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 fuck that. <laughs> We literally just asked the panel of women, hey, have you ever been out on a date with a man that you had zero intention of having sex with and all of you said yes? Mm. Yeah, but we, well, why do you have to do it all the time? No, 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 no. Why do you think, before? okay, this was mm. actually one of the things that she said that she didn't like about dating. Mm-hmm. So you have all these expectations. Why should I allow you in my body for some food? Okay. Literally. It's well, a on. chance to get the to know you cool. and share <laughs> energy. Not even, not even. But it's like most girls are on their defense because I know you just want to fuck me and once you fuck, you usually lose interest. Okay. So allow me to get to know you first why is that so fucking crazy no because here's the thing here's the thing the reason why it's so crazy is because women feel entitled to a man's time attention and resources and what i'm saying is not when he's willing to freely give it uh well that's why we have podcasts like this hold on hold on let me finish (laughs) that's why podcasts like this exist so we don't get guys that are stupid and realize their value that yo we're not gonna let women leverage sex against us no more fuck that like y'all want to hang out we want some something in uh, in return the thing is is that We've gone way too long yes. with chicks finessing dudes, taking them out on dates, making them pay, having them get on phone calls with them, spending all this, giving all this free attention. And we're simply telling guys, listen, man, women want attention. You want sex. You need to start being smart about your attention and not giving it away for free and letting these girls feel that they can just finesse you for your time and attention. That's what we're teaching, guys. That's cool. Your body, your choice. My money, my time, my choice. So it's a privilege to have your time and affection. Absolutely. Yep. So Absolutely. then get to know the person a little more. Because the, we're, going the thing is, we're going to be going through this. The thing is this. We live in a world, real talk, we live in a world where most women don't respect most men. I'm going to say that again. Most women don't respect most men. I think it's the men. other way yeah. around. It's, it's the other seven. way around. Wait, 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 really? Way the other yeah. way around. I'm sorry. No, I've no, been no, in no. long relationships my whole yeah, entire life. Like, and I'm seeing. Because just because. All right. Yeah, you want something? Daniel. No, one at a time. One at a time. So, so when it comes to like dating, I I believe that a girl shouldn't give herself like super fast, but not like take too long either. You know, like the guy, like at the end of the day, if a guy loses interest in you, is because he didn't. You're have literally interest. boring as fuck. Besides, like yeah. all you have to mm-hmm. offer is sex. Yeah, you know, That's like you so connect. if you have more to offer than sex, even if you like say you sleep with him in the fifth date, he's still gonna be interested in you. Well, here's here's and the point the I'm trying to day, make. You want to stay high value. I believe I heard you say that a a man is high value because he gets a lot of sex, but a woman is not high value when she gets a lot of sex. Yeah. So at the same time, we have to no, like you have uh, to respect. What I, me said, was, what I said was what I said was a high value everything. woman does not exist by herself. That's what I said. What, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Twenty twenty, girl, you're high, baby. No, 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 no. Please explain yourself. But at the end of the day, all woman, I don't give a fuck what any of you say. We all want the same things. We want to be wifey to somebody, to like take stability, care of us. Like, stability. Stability. Like, like you can be a boss, bitch, and blah, blah, blah. Like, I make tons of money, that's stability. fine, but I still want somebody to take care of me. Like, the, the reality is that's not what I need. I don't need it. I can take care of myself. Yeah, but that's fine. But deep down, we all deep want deep that. We all want that marriage, want having exactly. kids. Yeah. Like, yeah. One at a time. 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 Can we ask each other why we each need a man? Like, why? I don't even know because man. I want the man. I, I, I love about, man. I don't like a man. I want him. I love a woman. I like to feel that I'm a man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna go back to the yeah. gentleman. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna finish the reaction, and then yeah. I will tell you guys why high value woman doesn't exist and why men oh. shouldn't be sitting here what? taking you guys I, out. You on said a high value woman doesn't exist. Okay, and then I'll tell you why you're wrong. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, 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 hey. If you guys want to get triggered, that's fine. But what I'm saying is this, and I stand on it. There is no such thing as a high value woman by herself. Period. 
and I'll talk about it after the fact. But with that said, um, we're going to continue on with the reaction here, and then I'll Thanks. explain the high-value woman thing, and then I'll also talk about um, why men shouldn't be taking girls out on multiple dates and letting them finesse them. So, Ronnie, uh, what's thoughts uh, on the video? Uh, I mean, for me, bro, that's just, like, bum shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, on a girl's end. Like, I wouldn't even, like, be with a girl that I feel like is, like, on that shit, you know? Like, it's just... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Exactly. I just that like some loser shit, bro. And it's like drama. It's just like that's too much. That's wild, bro. <laughs> that shit's like that's fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> right, Daniela? Oh, I I thought the video was pretty fucked up. <laughs> I mean, like, like part of me is like, damn. I mean, if I was a guy, I would fucking do the same thing to her. <laughs> um, like her. at least don't post it, bitch. You know, no, that's like be smart about it if you're gonna do it that way. I don't know. I mean, all right. And next. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the video, Miss Red here? Oh me? Oh sorry. Okay. Um, I I don't even I don't even know how to talk about this because I wouldn't even like I'm very private with my life. Nobody needs to know anything. I think that is petty. That is ridiculous. That is like the most. I don't. I have no words. I just wouldn't. I can't even picture myself in a situation like this because it's not acceptable. Okay. No comments. <laughs> Maya. <laughs> okay. Just hear me out, but. I think, first of all, it was very disrespectful because in that man's head, he was probably thinking, like, I have a chance with this girl. I could get to know her. Mm -hmm. And here she is clowning him on her story, acting all, like, big and bad, whatever. But, again, like, if you're going to play the g nasty game like that, don't fucking, like, make a big deal about it and don't embarrass him. Like, keep that shit private. Keep that shit to yourself. If he wants to take you out and spend mad money on you, fine keep that to yourself but why you gotta sit there and embarrass him it was just mad disrespectful she deserved to have that bill and it's like if she doesn't know how to play the game right that's mm -hmm. it like if you're gonna play the game at least be respectful but like okay it's just rude i thought it was low of her to post that and she got what she did yes i think it was very low yeah very low okay so we got everyone's take on the video so Maya wants to uh, explain basically uh, high, high value women well um did the guys have anything else that they wanted to say before I get into this? Really, like that's just bum shit. Yeah, there's, like, <laughs> like, there's no comment about this. Yeah, subject. Bum shit. He it's should have been more like... so selective about who he took to dinner. Exactly. It's like that nigga, wow. Why are you on him? him? That's his. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's, a, that's a good point. That nigga's like, a loser. That's, that's <laughs> why. That's why I said it's like, yo, bro, like you could. You, she should have been smarter. Just, like he could have done something day, every stupid. <laughs> he could have done something like some very, very simple, simple and very and find out her personality yeah. really First, quick. Like, like, he could have told her to come to the crib. Like for like, example, yeah. right? Yeah. For me personally, oh, get I'll face, face time a chick first, <laughs> get to feel her out, take her for some drinks, maybe to a cool spot. And then go to dinner. I'm not going to dinner off rip because that's like I don't know her, the, the chick yet. I got to feel her out first. So DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. Uh, but he want to add to that. Oh. All right, so I took some notes um, because I knew this was going to come up. I knew girls, the girls were going to get mad at me for saying this. <laughs> but um, just to answer the first thing, like, yeah, guys should not be taking girls out on multiple dates. And, you know, just like you guys want attention and time from a guy, like he should have his needs, too. It's just that we live in a world where a man's needs aren't respected or validated, whereas a woman's needs are prioritized over that. Like he should wait and all this extra stuff. It's like, no, he shouldn't have to wait if he because here's the thing. How many of you guys have had a one night stand? I have never. Believe it or not, I have I never. Even. I have been in two no, relationships yeah. for six okay. years. You know what? Never, <laughs> yeah. I have never had a one-night Okay. I, I know. swear on my mother's life, I have never had Okay. All right. Congratulations. You haven't had a one-night stand. But <laughs> okay. you have had sex with men on the first date or the first time you met them. So, yeah, exactly. I saw that eye roll. But not a one-night stand, just meeting. So here's the point. I ladies. I uh, wish. I'm going to do it soon. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Now, so it's gonna all happen. right. Ladies, let's go into a dream world, okay? Let's, I need all of you <laughs> to go into this dream world with me. Let's imagine, Okay. <laughs> Because I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break this down for you guys, all right? So let's say you go to the Louis Vuitton store, right? And you're like, yo, I saved up this money. I got 10,000. I'm gonna get this fucking bag. I've been waiting forever for it. I'm gonna go get the bag, right? You walk in the store, the receptionist there, beautiful sunny day. You see the bag, 10,000. You're like, yep, I got 11,000. I could fucking do this shit. You buy the bag, you walk out, right? You get home, you're mad excited. You're like, yeah, I'm about to go to Tulum. I'm about to show out all these broke bitches. Yeah, it's lit. And then your friend texts you. Hey, girl, I saw you bought that bag from Louis Vuitton. Oh, my God, I got it too. Really? What the? Where'd you get yours? Oh, I got it from the same store. Oh, okay. How much you pay for it? Oh, I paid 5000 Oh, really? What the fuck? So what are y'all going to do? This is some bullshit. You're going to go back to Louis Vuitton store with your receipt, right? Try to get that money back, right? So you go back to Louis Vuitton store. And then you go to the receptionist, you say, hey, 
I paid ten thousand for this bag, but my friend bought it for five. Here's the receipt. I want my fucking five thousand. The reception looks. The receptionist looks you dead in your face and tells you, "No, that's your price." And you're like, "What the fuck?" Then you look to the left and you see another girl get it for a thousand. See another girl get it for free. See another girl pay for five hundred. <laughs> see another girl pay twelve thousand for it. You're like, "What the fuck? This is bullshit." How does that make you feel? Like shit, scammed, discriminated. Scammed. <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't pocket watch. Okay. Unfair. Try it, play it. Yep. Oh, scammed. Returning it. Returning it, right? <laughs> okay. That's exactly how men feel when you take them out on 10 fucking dates and don't smash them. Because he knows damn well in the back of his but mind that you fuck other fucking guys purse. for far less. Hold on, yeah, hold on. Yeah, we're not a purse. Hold on, hold on. I am not a purse. <laughs> I am not an object. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Which is how yeah. you are trying to paint the picture. Okay, look, look. Let, it, let me when talk, I, man. One at a time. Like, yo. The point is, what you guys don't understand is that men look at the world logically. We look at it time, money, time, money. All right. So whether women want to accept it or not, women look at men as resource creators. Right. And women are resource extractors. So men understand that they got to pay the price to, to, to deal with girls, whether it's time, money, whatever it is. No guy wants to pay full price for something that other guys got for free. That's why a lot of guys don't like taking out. Insecurity. Girls on mo- no, it's not insecure. It's it's yeah, actually yep. intelligence. It's not insecure. It's- don't compare yourself to any other guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't compare yourself to another guy. Yeah. No, because why am I paying full price? Every situation is different. different. But no. what kind of woman are you getting from? Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You guys are speaking from your feelings, and I'm telling you the male perspective. You can't argue me on this because this is how men view the world. Why are we going to pay full price for something I don't think you that you got for free? Men. Someone else got for free. Or someone else paid less for. That's are you getting a high value women, or are you getting like a little? But how like, do they know all this? Are they going yeah. like a? Uh, you yeah. can tell. That a you can tell from a woman's knows. mannerisms and the way she conveys herself. If, if, if you could tell, just like if she, she is, I don't how know, she carries herself. That, you could tell if she's yeah. worthy. Men so, are very like <laughs> visual, so sometimes they they go out with a bad bitch, and she is cannot bring nothing to the table. Okay. And you have somebody that might be maybe a little more mediocre looking in the eyes of the media, but she's like a real ass one and you want to do so much for her just because of how you feel about her, that how she makes you All right. feel. Again, once again, ladies, ladies, ladies. How many of you are men? Okay, exactly. <laughs> and then how many of you dated women as a man? Oh, okay, exactly. So what, what I'm trying to feelings? say, what yeah, I'm trying to say is this. <laughs> who broke your heart? Yeah, this is, real, no, huh? it's not about who broke yeah, my heart. Feelings. Yo, yo, yeah. yo, let me finish. The comment, the, the point I'm trying to make here is the reason why men have issues with taking girls out on multiple dates and or spending a lot of time is because they know in the back of their mind that someone got this for free or for a lower price than they, that they did. That's why guys don't wife up hoes. I'm going to say that again. The reason why dudes don't wife up hoes is because they don't want to full, play full price for a vehicle with high mileage. You guys don't have to like it. I'm just telling you the truth of how many. That's why you don't fuck everybody on dinner. You know what I'm saying? You you keep your mileage low. Okay, well, that's fine. You could say you could keep your mileage low, but I'm still telling you what men, how men operate. We don't want to pay full price for that Louis Vuitton bag when we know our friend got it for $5,000. I feel like it's a contradiction. That's just You want to to fuck you because you're like, oh, I took you to dinner, so I deserve to fuck. But then at the same time, you're going to talk shit on the bitch that fucks everybody on the first night. Well, here's the thing. It depends on the girl. Look, yeah. I'm not I'm not going to take a, like a 30 plus year old on multiple dates when I know she's been fucking. There's a difference. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A younger girl that listen, has less mileage, listen. she's going to get different know, treatment. You don't know what the it, mileage is of any age. So yeah, you have no listen. idea. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know. And also, okay. no one's talking shit about the girl after. I, it doesn't have to be the first <clears> date. <throat> we're just saying, look, if I take you out, at least have some interest in me. That's all we're saying. 100%. Don't waste my time. I feel like you guys your experiences with women you guys have had a lot of shitty yes. ass experiences yeah you've been right. in miami Listen, you guys are ego your ego, ego. Me, that's the man can ego. I, can ego. I yeah, go ahead let's talk about like, you guys go? can i okay, okay I, I want to say one thing sure. yeah, i have I'm, I'm, never had bad experiences that were, that were like what you're saying i had some l's i took i mean i'm talking about what he's saying no 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 but i'm saying in, in general right we're talking about girls that try to finesse guys right? right but i'm saying if i'm going out on a date with a chick at least let there be some interest in either me, what I'm about, of but don't waste my time. Of so course. he's saying from experience from guys, look, they've been finessed, they've been drugged. You feel me? That, that's natural, right? No. So, so to it shouldn't be. It no, shouldn't no. be. It well, shouldn't be. It's, but we live in reality. No, no. We live in reality. Guy, I don't. I feel, on, like, I feel like I feel like men go on more dates see, excessively. But see, we live in reality. <laughs> We're dating as guys, right? Yeah. You're dating. Okay. Is your experience from a, a, a woman's mm-hmm. side? So I'm just saying, look, as a guy, we go through these things all the time. You may not because you're a woman. So we're saying, look, to avoid getting a finesse, watch how you move and bet the woman carefully. So, Papier, you want to say, I don't know, quick. Go ahead, Papier, you got something? I mean, I was just, I mean, 
I don't think it's like you know, if you like you said, Fresh has had bad experiences or or mine. And I just think we live in Miami, so mm. our experience is gonna be completely different than as if we lived in Kansas. Yeah. Oh my god, um, I lived in Kansas for two years. <laughs> shout out, shout out, Kansas. Yeah. But I think in Miami, I mean, let's be real. Like the the type of women and men that are in Miami are extremely different. Yeah. And our our what we go through and our perceptions, and everything is is extremely different. Cause you got to think about it. Most girls in Miami want to do what? Like she said. What what did you say? Like, would you like about being uh, uh, dating? Have fun, no enjoy the moments. Yeah, no commitments. Have fun, be on yachts, be in the club, be at live, be with the celebrities, all that. Like, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, it's not a lot of uh, wholesome women in Miami. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. So obviously, our experiences are gonna be different. I mean, I can definitely understand why you guys feel the way you feel and you have to it's like not, vent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's with. the thing. Here's the thing. You got you, you to gotta really understand this. Like, this is not feeling. This is yeah. us just coming from knowledge. From Reality. experience. This is no, yeah, yeah, not, no, just, no. not just our experience. No. We have 10,000 live viewers right now, right? Yep. And this YouTube channel has grown exponentially in the past nine months. The reason why is because all the men are coming together <laughs> and we're comparing notes. And we're figuring out that across country to country, state to state, continent to fucking continent. We got guys all, ac- all across the world here. Women operate the same way in different places that tend to have a very feminist centric city uh, place. And the thing is, is that modern day women want traditional men while absolving themselves of traditional responsibilities. You want to be able to have a man that makes more money than you, is attractive, tall, good looking, confident and protect you. But you don't want to make a sandwich. That's how a lot of modern day women are. I'm a strong, independent bitch. I don't need no man. I'm the opposite. That's cool. I'm with the traditional roles for the right one. I would consider you not a traditional woman. But Why? <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of reasons why but why? that's a whole other, co- other conversation here's the other thing too i love that you said that i'm traditional <laughs> for the right guy that's an asinine concept saying i'm traditional for the right guy what if i told you hey i wear a dress and heels and i'm masculine only when i write a, a, me a feminine woman you look at me like i'm yeah. like what stupid but we live in a world that we can look, women can run around here and say oh, i'm masculine at all times unless i find the right guy but if i told you i wear a dress and heels and i need to find a feminine woman you look at me like i'm retarded but it's only but see, when I put your that logic back no on sense. you, that makes no sense. No. How does it not make sense? Because it's how the you same exact situation. Masculine. Look, I'm successful. I make my own money. Masculine but at traits. The same time, more masculine traits. Why is that What's masculine? What's wrong with that? Yeah. 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 Money. What's wrong with that? What? Have what? you not? Why is that a problem? What? I never said it's a problem. I'm no, simply you saying I'm like masculine traits because I'm no, no, independent no. and I'm an entrepreneur. There's nothing Don't wrong. Don't y'all want that because if no, it's no, like no, no, not make anything, no, then no. you start talking shit. Men don't care about that. Anything. Men don't you care don't. about that. You don't. You don't. No. No, no, you, most, you most men. You don't speak for all men. Yeah, you don't speak for all men here. Bosses, like, <laughs> okay. I know real men. That That's on y'all. Value okay. Value. No, no. So, Again. Yeah. Let me finish. Let me finish my point. I need you guys to get out your feelings for two seconds, and I'll it's let you rebut me after. About, you're talking you're from your feelings, feelings too. You're acting no, like you're all logic fact. and yeah. weird feelings. Dude, you're talking you're, you're you're feelings too. right now. You oh, even let uh, me finish my ladies, point. pause. All right. Let me finish my point. Thank you. So, the point I'm trying to make is, men typically tend to look at women as beauty objects, and men tend to men tend to look at women as sex objects. It is what it is. Men are attracted to youth and beauty. Women are attracted to success and security. It is what it is. That's the way we've been programmed since millennia. I agree. Okay? I so, agree with that. social constructs don't adhere to reality. I'm going to say that again. Social constructs, me being a strong, independent woman, does not adhere to reality. It's okay if you make your own money. It's okay if you're a career woman. But it's okay if you're successful. Please let me finish. Please let me finish. Very well. It's okay if you do that. But what I am saying is it doesn't necessarily make you sexier. Okay? A woman that's strong and independent that earns a lot of money is not the same as a man that earns a lot of money and is independent. It's not the same because women look for security in men. We went around the table. All of you guys described the man typically pretty much within the top 5% of earners. You ask the guys in here, we're all high earning men. We don't care about how much money a woman makes. Nope. We can date a girl that makes less money than us. Men are capable of dating down socioeconomically. Women are not. That's the difference I'm trying to make. So it's cool that you have your career and everything else like that, but it does not make you sexier. That's all I'm saying. So, and here's the other thing too with women that are successful. Understand this, the more money you make, the more status you have, the more clout you have, whatever it is, the smaller your dating pool of suitable candidates. The more money you make, the more doors close. The more money we make, the more doors open. That's the difference. That's all I'm saying. I'm just acknowledging biological traits that are true. Whether you like it or not is irrelevant, but you Mm -hmm. saying I'm traditionally feminine when I meet I the right guy, I never said I was traditionally feminine. You I said on, I'm on. cool with the hold traditional me, roles. I do cook. I do yeah. clean. For the right I man, know, correct? Yeah. Which means it's conditional. Yeah. If you okay. are not, uh, so you can't do that for just everybody. You can't treat You're, a boyfriend like a husband. Can you let me finish? 
You have to act you're, like a husband. So you're by your logic, that's like me saying I'm going to wear a dress and heels until I find a woman that's feminine. Then that's I'll go into my masculine. Way too extreme. That's not extreme because yeah, it is. Yes, it is because women that are argumentative, assertive, dominant, a type personality. Basically, what you're displaying right now is not attractive to a majority of men. I'll be very honest with you. Cut yes. men off. Because weak men can handle somebody like that. No. Mm. Why should... Hold on, hold on. You're talking about bums. You're talking about the average yeah. bum. Okay. The average bum cannot handle mm. a perfect. woman like me. Perfect, perfect. You can say that. But here's the argument. It's a fact. See? Yeah, clap, clap your hands. That's fine. Oh, that's my that's fine. Myself. Okay, that's fine. But why should a man that makes a million dollars a year, okay, have to deal with a 32-year-old woman that makes a lot of money, is assertive, dominant, non-agreeable, Abrasive to a degree. He when he can go, who, hold who on. When he can go, let me finish. When he can go and get I'm a twenty-one a year old. I'm a when, vibe. He, when he can go get a twenty-one year old that is not argumentative, your headache, attractive, oh younger, <laughs> and can bring him children. Why is he going to deal with you? Right. Real talk. So Real talk. It, and that, and why? you just said that perfectly. A twenty-one year old, a woman that's immature. No, that's going to have lower standards. Woman, that woman, is not woman needs to be submissive to their man. I like to be submissive. I love to be submissive. I love to be submissive. Hold on. One at a time. Hold on. Go ahead. 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 Steffi, Steffi. Go ahead. Steffi, go ahead. Not everybody's like that. You are like that. There's many women like you that are like that. But not we. Guess what? I don't agree with you. There's masculine and there's feminine energy. It's like that's all it is. You play your role and you get whatever you want. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather die. That's not true. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is chaos. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 y'all yo, yo, are giving yo. me a headache talking over each other. Yeah, so yeah. can y'all just talk one at a time? One at a time. Like seriously. One at a time. Vanilla, please. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. The guys, and I, and I, it's not. I'm, I'm gonna ask you for, but I am a hundred percent sure that every guy wants a submissive woman. Like you want, you know, you're supposed to do what your man wants, and he in return, like in return, he protects you and gives you that security. Yes or no? Do you want a, a girl okay. that that takes control of you? Cool. No, I mean, I, no, no, no woman can take control of me. Period. Exactly. Um, and that's how a woman has to make that's, a man that's, feel. That's, that's number one. Hey, you got the power. You're the man. You got to be But you, you are right. Um, I feel like every man wants a submissive woman. No yes. man wants. No yeah. man wants Even a woman if, that could yeah. that could that could take over him. Or that's true. You know what it's I'm saying? Fine. Like, Look, with her, you can be a, a, a like a boss babe and make all this money, but you're always gonna want a guy that makes way more money. Than I've you. always been submissive babe. to my man, but believe me, he was that man, and so of course, you know, you fall into the role. But but, but here's the thing: I, I feel you know, I feel like there's levels. You know what I'm saying? So not just anybody can handle that, and the people that I've been with have had no. Problem. My answer is: Why should he? If a man has worked his ass off to become a millionaire, to be made to bust his ass, because you got to remember, men have to create their value to get access to women. Women, you guys are born with your value. So if you make your money and you're an entrepreneur, it's a plus, but you don't necessarily have to do it. You plus. can still, yeah. No. Yes, no. it's a plus. No. No, women are like, there's some women that are housewives and do nothing really for nice. themselves, okay. and, and the man just and maintains fine. them. Exactly. And, that's and she's married though, right? And, but okay, fine. exactly. So let me finish. Let me finish. The point I'm trying to make is this your financial success doesn't necessarily make you sexier, but a man's financial success does make him extremely sexier. So a man that's a millionaire like you, right? Why is he going to date a woman that's in her 30s, okay, that can't bring, possibly might not be able to bring children to term, uh, a little bit more, less agreeable, because obviously for you to make that kind of money, you're not going to be an agreeable person. You don't become a self-made millionaire by being agreeable and nice and polite and pleasant. You get there by being fucking cutthroat, which is what? A masculine trait. So if you have masculine traits, why is a man that busted his ass to make that kind of money going to sit there Look, not and tolerate everybody, you? Please let not me finish. Everybody is for Please everybody. let me finish. Why is he going to tolerate you when he can go get a bad 21-year-old that's attractive, agreeable, and feminine, and fit? Take his money. And young. She doesn't care about him at all. But you got to remember, no men, you got to remember, men don't care about sharing their resources. It's women that don't that dislike having look, to share their look, resources look, with look, men. Look, look. Men with, don't have a with, problem with that. With with my small circle uh -huh. of uh, look, and I'm even talking about I'm, I'm gonna talk about my other friends who are married to millionaires. They're the baby mamas. They're the wives. They probably don't look. They're probably not tens. They're probably like maybe fives or sixes. Okay. Because they went through childbirth. They had their children. Yep. So what the millionaires do? They go cheat with the little young stupid bitch, but they marry the real one that they know is. That's what comes with the territory. Yeah. If you okay, want and you know, yeah, and you know what? I never, I can accept I'll that. look the other way. Look, see, mm -hmm. I really have no problem with that. <laughs> Honestly, where I'm at in my life, I'm not a jealous person. Just have some respect. I don't really want to see it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, do you. I really don't care what you do with other people. I only care about how you handle me. 
me personally, if I'm with somebody, I'm a monogamous person. I'm exclusive. I don't like to be around like a lot of people because uh -huh. I know my value. I do have high value. Even though you, you your opinion, because it's an opinion, which I respect, but it's still an opinion nonetheless. No, it's a of fact. high value. It's, it's a fact. fact. It's your it's not. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Not. I'm going to talk. Now we're going to talk about you why just said there was no a high, high value, value woman. I agree. But, you know, but, you, know, woman. but you know, I know what about Rihanna and Beyonce? Beyonce. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. Look, look, look. Number then, one. Okay. Like another thing. I have, I have. Finish your friends. point. Then I'll talk about that. Look, look, I have, like I said, I have several friends, right? They may not be like the most beautiful, but they married to the boss because they held it down. And at the end of the day, so in real life, yeah, so they win. So it's not about looks all the time. It's about the it's energy. Not. You know, it's about how you make your man feel. Exactly. You know, and when, when when I meet somebody and we click, I'm like, whoa, you know what? I like him enough to make him my man, which means I will respect him. I will put him above all others. I will cut other people but that's off. You being and submissive. I fall into the, of course, I never exactly. said I wasn't submissive. I expect. I maybe have a strong person personality, but like I said, I'm submissive to the right one. I fall in, I'm Colombian. My, I've been learning how, I know how to cook since I was 10. And being My grandma came from Colombia and good. asked me if I knew how to make rice. And I said, no, and she hit me. Ever since then, I know how to make but rice. But lady, ladies, you know you're missing I the point. Raised. I'm saying that being conditionally submissive is going to lead you down a path of peril. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's an asinine concept that only in the West we have, uh, 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 you know, have. So you're saying be submissive to every man? No, but you're going to know if a man's worthy of being submissive to within two minutes of meeting him. Oh. Off rip. Well, I mean, Off rip. So let's use some common, se let's use some That's common sense here. That's why I want to go on a second date. Let's, That's let's, why I agree you with don't even have to, date, you, don't even have to, you don't even have to go on a date with him. You yep. can text him. He, I, uh, he doesn't even tell you. If he doesn't tell you where to meet him, what time, what to wear, he might not be the one for you. That's not that's not a dominant guy. Like, I, I, I love when a man tells me what to wear. Okay. Like, all right. Me okay. But like I'm you curious. guys are missing the point. <laughs> every the point is, I love that. Every connection Yo. is different. Yo, Everybody's you different. guys are missing the point. Being conditionally feminine is a terrible concept. And I literally gave you the male equivalent. I'm going to wear heels and a dress unless I meet the right girl that is going to be feminine. This sounds stupid, right? But that's your logic. Turn back around. And that is why. I don't like masculine women. The reason why you guys have never heard this concept before is because we live in a politically correct world where men are not allowed to tell women what they really think. We don't like boss babes, independent women, blah, blah, blah. It's cool for you if you make your own money. Excellent. But that does not make you sexier. It's a lie. It's propaganda to keep women single. And it keeps you guys from getting married because men want a woman that's going to be a dutiful wife and mother first. Yes. Fuck your career. I agree with that. I okay, agree that's with in your that's opinion. But, but, you know, that's but a they fact. feel more. That's not more, a fact. No, no. But it's that's not. That's not a no. fact. You can't speak for all men and yes. say all men yes. want a uh, submissive. Yes. Ladies, ladies, men ladies, ladies. Unless they're broken, you don't have anything for going on for yourself, and they just know they have all the power. Yo, listen, hold on, ladies. You don't have anything going on for yourself. Ladies, ladies, real quick, real quick, start fresh. Uh, Papier, Ronnie J. What do you want in a woman? A to, a to Z. I want loyalty. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, really just like loyalty, bro. <laughs> loyalty and love, you know? Okay. That's all, Truth. man. That's all everybody. Um, That's what everybody. Somebody with goals. Somebody with morals. Thank you. You feel me? Sounds like a boss to me. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't hear. I didn't hear anything <laughs> about uh, income or or her Thank having you. status. No, no, no. Or, no. I don't, I don't know a millionaire. Goals. Hold on, hold on. I, I'd rather a girl that's not even famous, bro. I'd rather 100%. a girl that, that has a private account mm -hmm. that follows, I don't know, like no one. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, that has like maybe like 2,000 followers max. I don't know. That I don't even care about that either, though. I just care about the connection. I, I, and I care about, you know, I don't care about money or nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, all that shit don't even matter, bro. All that <laughs> matters is like facts. somebody's going to be there for you. You know what I'm saying? Because women have been lied to in the West thinking that your career. L listen, listen, ladies. Attraction is not symmetrical. The things you like in a man are not what men like back in women. Period. But the video yeah. you put of the girl, but I don't think she was like even famous. Right now, she was probably no, and she was just like on. posting it. Real quick, pop here. What do you, you want? Can be private in a woman. And be public. I, mean, I, I want a woman. That, same everything he said. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just say a few things. Just a woman that brings me peace. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like for me personally, it's like we in the music industry it comes with a lot of different things. It's very stressful. I mean, I, I guess on the outside it looks. You know, it's lit, it's fun, but you know, it's, it's a very rough business. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you want to come home to someone that brings you peace. It's like, it's like, um, I remember I was watching a Kanye interview and he was like, why don't you listen to rap music in your crib? And he's like, yo, at the end of the day, it's like, if I work at McDonald's, right? And you working, working all day. Last thing you want to come home to is a quarter pound of cheese. <laughs> yeah. Fact. So it's like, yeah. at the end of the day, it's like, I want a girl that's completely opposite of the girls that I'm around in the music industry. You know, the girls that are, you know, um, 
popular, that's in all the rappers' faces, that's in every club, that's on every yacht. I want a girl that's completely opposite, a girl that's like different from what I'm used to seeing. That's the girl that I'm going to take serious, a girl that's just different. Do you care about her money? Do you care about like her? Nah. <laughs> no, not right? Nah. I mean, for me, it's just like, just like you said, it's just like the more low key you are and the more just down to earth and real and just the more of that you are, the more I'm going to be attracted to that particular girl. Bam. There you go. And ladies, you got four guys at the table right now that are in the top 1% of earners. And we're telling you the truth. Your money and your status doesn't mean anything because your money is your money. My money is our money. That's the reality. Here's my, mom, so, my mom always said that to me. So, she always said when you marry, your money is your money and yes. your husband's money is Yeah. Your and here's the thing. Like I said. I'm not knocking women that have careers. I'm just saying it doesn't make you sexier. That's all I'm but saying I'm for saying, most guys. And I'm saying too, uh -huh. um, your followers doesn't make you that you're public, that you're, I can, I'm the most private person, most introvert, most, you, nobody knows nothing about my life. And I have 1.2 million followers. That doesn't right. make me, that video you showed of that girl, who knows who she is and look how she posted it instantly on, on, on it doesn't make you how private, nobody knows nothing about my life. That doesn't make you right. who you are, how private, how public, how nothing you are. You can just keep your right. really life low key and just your profile is uh, open though, right? It's open, but I post whatever I want and whatever everybody wants, me, whatever <laughs> I want them to see. I'm not posting anything on my private life. Nobody even knows till now that I'm talking about this that I broke up with my ex boyfriend. Okay, and but you months, um, but you do have a bunch I'm of confused. scantily clad photos on there. What you do have <laughs> some photos that like has you like in bikinis and. But almost why naked. I want to have a bikini because I'm, I'm no, 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 that's cool. That's a part of your career. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a part of your career. That's what am I supposed to post? No, 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 sure. You post, no I mean, bikini pictures? you don't have to post that, but well, I'm working for to. the brands and I'm work and I'm I have contracts and everything. I'm not supposed well, to. Well, you said earlier that you're an introvert and you're like not out there like introvert that. Introvert about my life. I don't like to like be people don't have to know anything about my private life, but my work that has nothing to do with that. My work has nobody knows anything about my life. I'm confused, but yeah, okay, yeah, okay. there's a little bit of a connection there. Guys, Next topic. A Wait, since we break breaking stereotypes, yeah. like not every young female is a young dumb stupid bitch. Yeah. Like all Boom. of us are not stupid. There you go. Bitches. No, you like some of us. Stupid. It's it's a uh, the older you get, the wiser you get. That's okay, it is. okay, but not really. It, it's it not. Doesn't... You're not. You're not stupid. I, I'm sorry if that was me that said that. Right. I want to be very clear on that. Okay, I didn't say it was you, but like well, I was saying, what? basically. Like everybody that's young is not stupid. A lot of us are ambitious and smart. Like just because you got played a few times or you got tried, that doesn't mean I'm gonna get played. Like just because we had the same age at the same time, like that makes no sense. Like uh, I've noticed, I've noticed that older women use that as a shaming tactic to men anytime they date a woman in their twenties. And the thing is, this ladies, it's biological. Just like you man want a man that's taller than you and makes money and is successful and, and has security, men want young, beautiful women. If you're in your thirties. Sorry to the ladies here at the table. You ain't going to be able to compete with the 21-year-olds. It's a fact. Sorry. Like, your mother, money. Mother Nature gives you your gifts and Father Time takes it away, baby. So it is what it is. I, and that's the truth. Know, I, met, mm. I met women in their 20s that look like they're 40. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That does not matter. That, it, it doesn't okay. matter. You can it's how say, you carry nobody yourself. That's cool. It's how you look, that's cool. how, you, how you project yourself, and how you make Okay, that's feel. cool. That's cool. But can again, I, what did I say before? I, say I said reality doesn't, like, and reality doesn't adhere to social constructs. On paper, we tell people, it's okay, baby girl. You get older. It's okay. You're still going to be beautiful, whatever. The men are still going to go after the younger women. It is what it is. Okay. It's the truth. It's the it's the truth of reality. But it's what she's saying. It doesn't make younger women seem stupid. No, but but but, like, but when we mentioned like, that like, earlier, because she said, "Hey, I'm I'm I make a lot of money. I want a successful man, whatever." I said, "Well, why is he going to sit there and have to tolerate your traditional femininity when he can go ahead and get a girl that's always feminine, that's younger and more coachable?" I'm actually why? talking to somebody is who is in who makes a good like three four million a year. He okay, do you have a ring yet? No, I didn't. Then you didn't win. No, listen, I don't care. Listen, like, yo, if you don't have a ring, you don't win. Let me finish. Let me finish. Whenever he asked me, because he's like, he's 36, he asked me, he's like, how old are you? And I was like, 32. He was like, perfect. He's like, I don't like anybody under 28. And that's Cap. just his preference. No, Cap. look, that's just his preference. You don't Cap. know. You don't know. No. You Cap. don't know. See, All your see men will say, so men will say what opinion. it takes. See, you guys are so yeah. like ingrained in yeah. like your reality. So Yo, liars. Men will say what they need to say to get laid. Yeah, you probably banged the 21 year old right after fucking with you. Yeah. It's the yeah. truth, man. Not everyone's a piece men, of shit, man. There's good men out there that don't do what you do. Plus, anyway, there's going to be 30 something year old women that look way better than Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What makes a man a piece of shit for wanting to have sex with women? Like, no, nothing. But if that's like all you want out of a woman, then you're what just the looking fuck at the age. Okay, just like, the age. If you're just you're trying to fuck age? her because she's young, like no, no, no. Here's the uh, thing. Just... You, you, you seem to have a lot of issues with what we're saying. 
hey man yes this, i do <laughs> yeah and, and that's fine you could be triggered you can be triggered I'm not about triggered. what we're I'm saying just answering your questions no, well here's the thing you're saying oh well you're a piece of shit because you want to have sex with other women pretty triggered hey just like you want a man that's so, uh, secure financially, tall, confident, everything else like that. Men have preferences and wants, too. Okay. We want young, attractive, agreeable women that are in shape that are going to follow our lead and not give us a headache. Period. You can't talk for the whole male population. That is, You're that talking is one, for yourself. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. no, no. Because I'm not going to lie. Most guys, I know that one, the I'm, ones I'm with be, the ring on the finger are not what you just I'm described. A, I'm, They're I'm, a pain I'm, in the ass. I'm going to be real. I mean. Obviously, I think that I, I agree with a lot of stuff that Myron and Fresh is saying because at the end of the day, they wouldn't be this popular if majority of the men didn't agree. I don't really know too <laughs> yeah. many channels that are as big as them, to be honest. I mean, I think you guys could, you know, try to be indifferent, but I mean, I became a fan of the show because of the stuff y'all was talking because I never really seen no one on the internet like bold enough to say these things. Keep so, it real. I mean, you, I mean, look, I mean, you guys are here because what? It's an interesting show. Yeah. Like, let's be real. Question. You know? How old are you? I'm 22. Okay. Um. So you're 22 years old. The thing is this. Are you in college right now? I just graduated, actually. Where'd you, where'd you go? FSU. Go okay. Girls. So congratulations <laughs> on, your, you. on graduating. The thing is this, man. The reason why these concepts that we say sound foreign to you is because if men speak like this, they get canceled. Yeah. They get considered massages, assholes, toxic insecure, small dick energy, whatever it is. Very few men are going to tell the truth about what they're actually aroused by in women because it's politically incorrect to say anything that, how do I say this, tells the uncomfortable truths about sexuality. When a woman says, I want a man that makes this much money, is this tall, whatever, it's considered preferences. If a man says, I don't want to date no old woman that's going to be an obnoxious, uh, assertive, whatever it is, it's, it's considered discrimination or small dick energy. The reason why we're, we have almost 12,000 live viewers right now at 12.30 in the morning is because men think like this. You guys think we're way more complex than we really are. Men are simple. Sex, silent sandwiches, man. Real talk. That's that's why a lot of these women that you mentioned, they're fives. They're not even that attractive. How do they get married? Because they're compliant. Yeah. That's how you get a ring is by being compliant. Men, when it comes to marriage and a long-term commitment and a real relationship, they don't want a woman that's going to be quarrelsome. It's in every religious text. Quarrelsome women cause issues. We want peaceful women Proverbs. that are going to be with the be with yep. our program and not give us a headache. You're entitled to your Bible. opinion, but you're not entitled to a ring either. So you can have your opinion by yourself. I so, agree to everything you're saying. But one, like, yeah, I, go ahead. I, I I do agree with everything you're saying, but I have never disagreed on that. I've always said I've you know, woman, be submissive to your man, all this, but that has nothing to do with just being have something going on for yourself. No, for you can. That has nothing to do I'm with just how simply I treat my man and how okay. I make my man feel and how I... I'm just saying, you know, your career doesn't make you sexier. I, I, yeah. I don't That's know what I'm telling you. That. Women don't, don't have a career no. to be sexy. That's what I want to say. Hold on. Hold on. I don't think that's not a career When I said earlier, a high, when I mentioned a high-value woman does not exist by her own, all of you started throwing your careers and your financial accolades at me. Yeah, you did. As if it was something that was attractive. Well, I make this much money, blah, blah, blah. You led with your career, which, hey, if you're a guy, that might work. But as a man... We don't care how much money y'all make. We don't do it for the That's men. True. We have our career for ourselves. We're not trying to impress you by being millionaires. So why'd you guys bring that up immediately yeah. after like, when I said a high-value woman? Because maybe that's what we consider yeah. a high-value woman. I consider myself I consider a high-value high woman. woman. Somebody right. who, who, who so, has morals. So tell me, who, who hold on. Ladies, educated, ladies, ladies. If you're viable, you're viable to the consumer, right? So we are the consumer. We're men. So if you're viable, that means you have certain traits that we value. And that's what makes you high-value to us, not to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Me personally. I have a great Ooh, ass. Well, let me ask you. That's for the ladies. That's pretty good, Chris. Let me, I, got a I got a question for the ladies. Like, what do y'all think considers makes y'all high value? Ooh. Like, for like, just as a, like, from y'all perception. Like, individually yeah. or as a group of women? No, no, let's no, 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 just like, just, uh, yeah, like, I, I, I want to I wanna know, like, like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, what, what, what do you so, consider high value as yourself as a, as a woman? Standards. Okay. Having standards. Like I'll set my standards, and that. if you don't meet them, then you can't have me. Yeah, but you have to meet. Well, your well, I thought you meant like I thought you meant like your own yeah. standards, like yeah. how you carry exactly. yourself. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, like how you carry yourself, like your own morals. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. What makes you high value, or do you even believe that concept? I play the fifth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What makes what makes you high value? I think I just have to feel comfortable with who I am, and I have to be in god's eyes like just a good person that's what makes me high value okay as long as i'm i'm not hurting nobody as long as i'm loving myself 
as long as I'm taking care of myself and my family, that's all that matters. I could give a shit less what anybody else says. Hold on. I want to add to that add to that question. Let's go back here real quick. What do you bring to the table for a guy that you want? I know how to take care of a man. Like, for example, I'm in a relationship right now. And I know that this man has like the um I'm in a relationship guy blown up because of me <laughs> because I'm taking care of all his basic needs so that he can do whatever he is best at. Like I am doing whatever I am best at so that he can do whatever he is best at. And then we both grew up together, you know? Like he's not going to cook for himself or clean for himself. But if I'm doing that and I'm like taking care of him in other ways. He can do whatever he's best at, and that takes us together to another level. That's okay, so you I help believe. with the small things. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. What I bring to the table, um, I bring the basic shit, like cook, clean, fuck, fuck, all that extra stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> what I really bring to the table besides what all the other bitches could do, like I could actually listen to you, see what you're talking about, respond. I can actually give you a thought-out opinion without like my feelings all in it like even if I disagree I could tell you why I disagree and I see why you agree with what you agree with like I'm not just linear like yeah okay what do you mean to table um I like to understand a lot <laughs> so I'll definitely try to hear you out and get to know you and and get why you're the way you are. Um, I love to share moments big and small. I do love to cook <coughs> for myself and for my people. I love to take care of people. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot that I can do for anybody. It's just how I love myself, I'm going to love you. If I love myself a lot, I'm going to love you way more. That's that's all it is. Okay. And what makes you high value? And then what do you bring to the table? I would say I bring to the table a lot of knowledge. Um, I'm loyal. I cook really well. I'm a great chef. I'm very adventurous, spontaneous. I... I'm very open to a lot of different opportunities and things. Great listener. Um, and even if I didn't bring anything to the table, I'm still high value. I can bring dirt to the table and there's still a line of men waiting outside the door just to talk to me. And I can offer jack shit. Okay. I'm going to break it down, uh, break that down later after this. <laughs> after this. Um, well, okay. when we get to a certain point, like I'm a freak. Like I'll wake you up sucking <laughs> your dick and cook and have breakfast ready. But also too, like, because I'm about my money. I want to know. What are we going to do? And like, let me flip it. Like, yes, like I said, girl, I've always yes. been an investment. Invest your time. Girl, love me. Be correct. Come correct. I'm not even telling you be faithful. Because like I said, what you do with someone else is your business. You know, me, I I, I different because I am a woman. I'm not for everybody. I am exclusive. And I have no problem with that. But, you know, I just, I know I'm a high value because the energy I bring. Like, there's not very people that is genuine and loyal as me. And the things that I've overcame, like my strength, I can go overcome many obstacles. I'm wise beyond my years. Okay. Question. Would you say you're okay with being cheated on? It, if it's like an agreement, it's not cheated. It's a respect level. Like, if I'm at this level, like, um, merch, as, merch. as a woman, you always, it, it just depends. Like, you have, like, I've been different in all my relationships. Um, You just have to bring to the table whatever your man needs at the time. Okay. Like, it, it, it can change from time to time, but you need to, Bring to the table whatever the fuck he needs at the time he needs it. <laughs> and would you consider yourself high value? Yeah, I mean, I've always, I've always, I felt like I've, you know, I've, I've tried my best at least to be that. You know, sometimes they might need a listener, sometimes they might need a friend. Like you, you're supposed to give that, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I Next. I just, I just like to be honest, loyal, and just. You know, stick with my man, the man I decide to be with, not on the date. I'm talking about my man, I will ride with you till the end, no matter what, because I've been through it, been there, done that, so I know. And I'm always going to be there by your side, side to side. And the people that know me here that are seeing me, they will, they know, they know. The people, trust me. <laughs> like, I just, you just need a ride or die person to have a real relationship with. Somebody that you know that's going to ride with you through good, thick, thick everything because right, right. i'm about to piss off all the girls at the table after this man <laughs> i'm about to piss them all off but I, i'm, I'm gonna and give them a good sex and give Don't them what they it. need okay. and, and make them have fun and everything gets boring and all right. it up all the time okay oh, cool my my um i would say high value would be someone who's very honest and loyal and can be themselves also what you have to offer and bring to the table like i consider you know, bringing to the table someone that's going to take care of their man, cook, clean, 
um, you know, benefit them, help them grow, make them happy. Like if you don't offer those things, then there's many other options out there that can. It's just you you just have to offer like the best for your man or you're just like every other bitch then. That's the basic Completely. That's just the, the bare minimum. The bare minimum. Exactly. exactly. That's yeah. The it's basic. like the. That's not. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with bringing, being like a great girl for your dude and like cooking, and cleaning for them, and you know wanting to grow with them. That's not basic. That's just being a traditional woman, and that's what you were taught to do, and that's the reality of it. Cool. Right. I feel like bring substance and loyalty and basic needs, like you said, cooking, cleaning, to help them grow. Cool. All right. All right. Awesome. Uh, Ready to Papier, rumble. Or Papi or Ronnie, you guys got anything before I go into this? I, I actually do. Before you yeah, go ahead. Thing. So, like, I'm not trying to, like, you know, piss you off, but you said something like, oh, um, you know, like, I'm different or whatever. Like, at the end of the day, I know that we all think that, you know, we're different. And we're all different in our own way. You know, we really are. But I feel like women need to stop being like, oh, you'll never find anybody like me. Because like <laughs> us, there's a million yes. out there. Like it, de yes. it depends on like the connection that you have with the guy. And if the guy like chooses us and we choose them. But just like me, just like you, just mm -hmm. like you, th there's millions of girls that are just like us that guys can choose from. So I don't really agree with that term of like, I'm different or yeah. I'm this or I'm that. It's the chemistry okay. and whatever it's connection it's you have yeah, with a person. You, you, can, you have a chemistry with someone. A guy can right. take it seriously and the next one will take it seriously. Go, Papi. Go I feel like a woman's value just goes in her, like, just her chastity, her morals, her pureness. Yes. It's like it's, it's like if you go to other countries, like I was in Istanbul, Turkey. I travel a lot. I travel the world a lot. And um, it's, it's crazy because in those cultures, it's like they take purity in women very seriously. This girl, she was telling me about, like, if... I don't know how how long ago it was, but she was saying when she was growing up, if you uh, was in a wedlock, like you had a kid without being married, like your family disowns you. Yeah, mm. you yeah. Muslim saying? countries, man, yeah. they don't fuck around. They don't play. Um, so I think a woman's value is just her purity, bro. Like how, like how pure are you? What's your moral standard? You know how you carry yourself. That's that's really valuable. AK, that I, Louis Vuitton bag can't I, be bought for less than ten thousand dollars. Because at the end of the day, it's like you know, with women and money and, and, and careers and stuff, it's like for instance, like you know, a stripper, a stripper can make two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand a year. You know, she makes a lot of money, but that doesn't mean she's valuable. Look at her moral ethics. Look at her moral code. Look at her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who is a man like a man with substance of value? Who's going to take? more serious a stripper yeah. or just a girl like that's just regular but has a very high level of a moral code a moral code and ethics and purity i think purity has more to do with children than it does with women with children yeah but that's intrinsically because tied to your duty as a as what, a woman you, is to what, create wait, children wait, but wait what do you what do you mean you know what i'm saying like, like children? purity to describe a woman i think is different like what do you define as pure because i think children represent um, purity and women aren't children we're grown women you know what about us has to be pure i mean i think it's crazy to think that you can't you only pray people that could be pure are children yeah, like yeah, you could be yeah. a pure human you know mm -hmm. not everybody but is, what what does that mean like what does that mean to you pure I mean, I'm someone, just not understanding. Like I said, someone who has a high level of moral code. That she's not okay. been around and she hasn't been with just everybody. Yeah, like, and she. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't fuck with I too wouldn't. many dudes that no. have. No, I'm not finished. I wouldn't fuck with too many dudes that their moral code is way off the scale. If you'd have been in all types of threesomes and I crazy agree. shit, that's not my lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. And you can stay I, over there. Yeah. yeah. I was giving an oh, example. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got you, but we have. She's saying the same thing for her. Yeah, excuse me. The same thing you saying. I'm the same way on this yeah. side of the table. Like, so you don't think it's possible for a woman to be pure? Is that what you're saying? No, I, I didn't say that. No, I, what I'm answering that. is, you saying you don't like bitches who's not more like that. I don't like niggas who's not is that, that more what I, like is, that either. That's, that's not what I said. Females, you get what I'm saying? What I said. What I said is, I gave an example. I gave an example. of two different genres of women. Okay, I heard you. And I said, I said, what do you think? A man of substance is going to choose. Like you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so but you answered you it already. Choose? We heard you, you. You said you wanted a woman with purity and that had morals and stuff. He's like that. No, what I said is time. what I said is what what I believe a high value woman is. Mm. Someone who has a high level of moral code. I never said that I need. Right a, I never said that I need a. That's not for the I, I never said I need a perfect woman. I'm not. Perfect. We didn't say that either. So then, what are you saying? I'm saying that I don't like men that have a different moral code. I'm saying if you slut it out as a dude. I think that's like some carrier behavior. No, I don't fuck with that. So what behavior? Carrier behavior. 
what's carrier? STD carrier behavior. Oh, <laughs> like, spiritual tra- like spiritual diseases, Sexually sexual diseases. Who, who said I was slutted out? I didn't say you were. I said oh, okay. I'm I thought it was directed towards me. I'm not attacking me. you. Oh, okay. I thought it was directed well, towards me. Well, I mean, it's the same for her. I'll be an asshole here. A man that can have threesomes with a lot of women brings value to some degree, whereas a woman that has sex with a lot of dudes loses her value to yes, some degree. Yes, it is true. That's so true. true. That is what, very A promiscuous true. man is not the same as that a promiscuous woman whatsoever. So, okay. So, I'll say this real quick. So, uh, that's sexist? Yeah. Reality. What about, wait, 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 no, it's I unfortunate, it. I but I don't. It. We on this podcast, we don't deal with should, coulds, or what a, it, what a, what it should be. It should. It's what, what is. The reality is, you can get into a club for free. You will get invited to social situations and that none of that us at the table for men. Yeah, but, girls are there for men. But because that's, men go to clubs me, to go fuck yeah, girls. Let, yeah, let me finish though. What I'm trying to say is that women have no issues when sexism when it benefits them, but they do have an issue with it when it doesn't benefit them. I accept the reality that reality is sexist. But as soon as I said a man that's promiscuous is not the same as a promiscuous woman, that's sexist. Yeah, it is sexist because a man has to create value versus a woman has to preserve hers. It's just that women don't like it when the sexism negatively impacts them, but they're all for it when it positively inv- uh, 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 helps them. Can I ask so, what sexism versa, favors? Like, way. how does sexism favor me in any sense? No, there's 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 benefits to being a woman and there's Pretty benefits to being a man. But there are a lot of benefits, I would argue, in today's modern day society that benefit women that are inherently yes. sexist that you're complaining about. But when I said something very small, hey, a promiscuous man is not the same as a promiscuous woman, you were to say that's sexist. None of and us you compl- agreed. You said yes. 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 Yeah, I yeah. Agree. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but you're saying it in a sense where you're saying it in a sense like, oh, that's bad. No, reality is sexist. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> like that's not a, a guy. A but guy bangs all these girls, and he's oh, reality. He's a badass. He's a badass. Wait, 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 wait. Fucking bitch. Look, fucking, I wasn't yeah. talking about sex. Like, I was no, talking about it's, just it's being just, immoral. Like, like I'm not talking about just. But I get that. I get that. Ladies, plus, but I don't even. I, reality. I don't even hold on. Hold on. Reality is amoral. Reality is amoral. Okay, it's not fair that if a lion comes into a new pride, he kills all the cubs and he fucks up the entire pride. <laughs> it's not fair. But that is life. Reality is sexist. You're going to get certain doors open because you're a woman that I will never be able to and possibly vice versa on my side. But I would argue women have more privileges and rights than men do nowadays. That's another story. I'm sorry, Name one right or privilege that a man has that you don't. You can go jog at night without worrying for your life. Okay, you can go on a date yeah. without worrying about getting killed. Right? Okay, men are Keep far going. more likely to be victims. No, 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 no. I'm about to put That's it down right now. Yeah. Okay. That, okay. Men are far more likely to be victims of violent crime than women are. Far more likely. Violent, you know, ninety percent of all violent crime is committed by men. So on other men. The on other men. To, to other one, men. No, one in three. Eighty-five percent of domestic violence victims are women. One in three. So women. who's committing that domestic violence? Men. Uh, one one actually, in three women are I, raped or molested. Hold on. Uh, that's mm-hmm. not true. <laughs> that, 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 is that, 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 that is true. That, How many people okay, have been raped or molested? Someone here. at this table has been sexually assaulted. Hold on. Hold on. One. One. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One at a time. Number one. Men are far more likely to be victims of violent crimes and what men are overwhelming the, the, the victims of violent crime. That's a fact. Uh, you can say, oh, the uh, domestic violence is perpetrated by men. But the reality is women <laughs> perpetrate a lot of domestic violence as well. It's just that when the police show up, they arrest a the man 90 percent of the time, even if the woman perpetrated the crime first, because when they show up, whoever has more injuries gets taken in or they take both in. But a lot of the times women start domestic violence situations and they just get away with it. I'm not sure where you're getting these facts from. We have a whole link tree on this. We have a whole have link tree on this. It is wrong for a woman to hit a we, man. We have yeah, facts. Uh, uh, it is wrong to. I, I believe it is it's wrong. wrong it is happens. totally wrong. It's totally wrong. And there's, you know. Now, one in three women. No, that is incorrect. Actually, more like one in 1,900 women gets raped. It's not as prevalent as women think. We rape culture. Okay, lady. Is a myth. Who here has been sexually assaulted? There we go. Okay, well, I, wait, 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 wait. I think that doesn't. I haven't, got, I haven't gotten. I feel like a lot of people are not being honest. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a broad you guys cannot say. You guys don't don't say the R word. We're gonna say graped. Okay. Remember, graped and S A because we're on YouTube are two mm. different things. S A is a very ambiguous term. Mm. It can be me touching your leg. It can be that's me touching your ass. It could be mm-hmm. that's a child. But the the point no. is, is that S A is very ambiguous. Grape is penetration. Okay. 
So if we're going to stick on one term, we got to stick on one term. What I'm saying is that grape, one in 2000, okay? But it's no. not as prevalent as you guys think. The thing is, is that we live in a in a rape culture, right? Myth, grape culture. And it's it, starting now more. Now there's more rapes than ever in the mm-hmm. world. Now I there's would, everybody you guys, I feel like no. it's, it's not like, as prevalent yeah. as you guys think no, it is. No, no, no. I'm really saying, I'm right. saying. Women are listen, becoming more comfortable. You girls are all going to hate me for saying this, but I'm just speaking the truth of what I see. And, I, and I'm just. The truth just, of what you see. What, you what see? I'm seeing. <laughs> and the, um, what that, that doesn't make sense. Okay. I, okay. I'm saying that you girls are going to hate me. I'm, I'm talking saying something good about men here defending and i'm not going to say it now because you guys oh you don't have to we have have to. to. the point is this the point is this y'all could sit here and say oh women get graped and everything the stats is this and this comes from the fbi direct okay on the crime statistics one in about 1900 women actually gets graped period the rest is false now you guys could sit here and say oh i know a girl that got graped and all this other stuff there's a lot of false accusations baby you're more likely to to get struck by lightning than to be falsely accused of grape that's not and true. that's a fact. Look it up. I said, I look it up. I want to say something. I want to say it's something. Just that, that does and not hit the it's news. It's very neutral, and it's something that is not. Um, I'm not being a feminist. It's actually going to be more t- towards the guys. Nowadays, women think? have really devalued wom- our value because they we are they've become so easy. It's just so like before. It was more like a woman is like you know more precious, more this. No, it is. I just feel like woman like. It's just like a, a whole general thing now. Everybody's just so easy to get. It's just like, oh, pussy, pussy, pussy. Like, like, oh, I don't know if I'm kind of. And pussy. and uh, I'm so sorry. yeah, it's it's we not. It's not. We should just value ourselves a little more. If we're gonna talk about grape, I'm telling you the stats right now, and I'll show it to you after the after the show. It's about one in 1900 women. And now the one in five in college girls, uh, girls on campus. That's also a fallacy. That number is still too big to me. That, so you, that, be I'm telling great. you that it's that I'm telling you that that stat comes uh, from well, an incorrect statistic. Listen, it is not. Uh, it is not true that, that. Let's use common sense here. Hold on, hold on. If 20 percent of women were actually getting graped in college, who in their right mind would send their daughter to college? I wouldn't. Let's use some common sense. Here. I wouldn't. Would you? It's not as prevalent as you guys say. You can't prevent grape by not sending your kid to college. She can get graped in her own house. She can get graped going out of the grocery store. Are you kidding me? Grape is everywhere. <laughs> like. I hate that word. You, well, I'm sorry, that, but that's, you can't. That's feminist propaganda to that's make you feel propaganda. scared. Because yeah. it is propaganda. Grape is not as prevalent as you think. I'm t- I just told Dude. you. You said, I, I, I can jog at night and not feel as safe. And I literally told you, you're far more likely to be a victim of a violent crime as a man, not as a woman. Listen. Women do not get assaulted as much as men do. Wait, question. Far less. Question. You guys watch too many crime thrillers, if we're going to be honest. Yo, question. Essay, like, who in here parties at night? Everybody, right? Are you getting, are you getting gripped? I don't think so. The, uh, point, the point is, is that like I've been followed. I've been followed. No, 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 no. no. Followed is not I great. Mean, it's not great. Followed is not great. I'm just saying. It's not. But women do go through like. No, no. You just have to be more careful. No, no. That could be an argument. Let's be real here. You're still going out at night. You're still getting lit. The point is that like he's saying the stats show for FBI, you guys are not getting that that much grape. That's all I'm saying. One in one. One in nineteen hundred. It's not as prevalent as you guys say. That's what I'm trying to say. You're talking about grape, but sexual assault is one in three women. That's an ambiguous term, though. Uh, you, someone can touch me, you. Like me, you can say that's can I, SA. Uh, can I finish yeah. talking? All right. <laughs> so one in three women are sexually assaulted. Sure, that's a vague term. Blah blah blah. That's a thing. You can look it up. It's a fact. Okay. You were talking about being privileged as a woman. That women have privileges, and we're talking about what it is to be a man. Men also have privileges, and that's why sexual assault was brought up. We're not here to talk about rape. We're talking about the difference and what we can and can't do. So men have privileges just as well as women get a free fucking drink or get free in the club while a man can walk down the street and be safe and not have to worry about jack shit. That That's all we were That's saying. True, and then just straight from the point. True. And no, and no, and Look, men do get assaulted. Like that, like that. No, men are there's scared. Some, there's some stats that you're not talking about because there's a lot of men who don't speak up, who go through shit For just sure. like women. 100%. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so if... If those stats are not there, then how are you? But 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 hold up, <laughs> there are men that get assaulted and raped as well. But you can't deny and who, that nobody's who denying that. More yeah, as a matter of fact, men are more likely to get raped because of prison. And they're not going to say anything. They, 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 men get oh, raped oh, actually no, more than women do. So not. like we could we could have this in who suffers I know, but, Okay, we can we can have this argument Just like things about, happen about to boys who too. Like you know, you put a little bit more attention on your daughter. Like if you were to have a daughter, you'd be extra like overprotective because you know the dangers that she faces as a woman. Yeah, I mean, we can have this argument about who suffers more or whatever the fact is. But remember, notice how you said, "I feel safe." Right. I don't feel safe when I walk at night. How you feel in reality are two different things. Yep. The reality is you're not as you don't, you're not as in danger as you may think. You might feel that way, 
but reality is something else. Yeah. And the other thing too, ladies, is we got to understand one thing. A lot of women tend to think, well, this is my truth. No, it is not your truth. It's just your perception. The truth is objective. Your observation of the truth and your appreciation of it is relative. But that does not mean that your truth is the truth. That's just your experience. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that it's an objective fact. So you might say, girls get essayed or whatever it is. You might say that or you might feel like that or you might know girls that have been essayed. But I'll tell you guys this. I know women that will sit there and say, oh, well, that guy essayed me, right? Just because she didn't, let, she felt regret the next day yeah. or because she wants to shame him or whatever it is. Because here's the reality. Women can come out and say, this guy did this to me and the whole world is going to believe them. And that man is guilty until proven innocent. And it is a tool that a lot of women use to destroy men. That's the truth. And then there's men who are like, what was she wearing? Where was she going? Like, is due like process a, a problem? It's, 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 it's a double it's standard. A mutual, it's a mutual thing. Exactly. That exists the men don't believe the women and then it's vice versa. Well, hold on. Was this country not found upon something called due process? Guilty until proven, uh, sorry, innocent until proven guilty and not guilty yeah. until proven innocent? Yeah. It was. Okay, so if you're going to make an accusation that can destroy a man's life, you better bring some goddamn facts. There's less than 2% false accusations. So you're talking a very, very small, small, small percentage right less here. Less than 2%? No. Yeah. No, false yes. accusations. You are more are, are likely thing. to get struck by lightning than you are to get falsely accused of rape. That you is can, I literally, it's a fact. You could look it up. That is, that is incorrect. I don't know, I don't know where you're putting <laughs> We'll look it up from. after yeah. the podcast. Yeah, I, I would like to see, yeah, I would like to I see where you. that came from. Hold on, real quick. Super chats, false real quick. accusations are a real thing. Super chats, real quick. Yeah, sure. He's actually very good uh, for the topic right now. All right. So. Okay, Myron is going to trigger a lot of women tonight. Bet a bunch of these women don't know what a man wants. What do you bring to a man's table besides sex? Okay, or beyond that. Uh, okay, uh, 50 bar bucks from uh, Mr. Steel Yo Blocks. Fresh and fit. Who do I email for a business venture crypto related? No BS. Our crew equipment comes in this week. Uh, Fresh fit podcast at Gmail. Yep. Okay. Preferred and slip 49,391 six figure men in Southern Florida. Subtract married men. Oh, it's just someone actually did the numbers. <laughs> okay. That leaves 21,056 men remaining. One man for every 224 women. Six foot tall, 100K. One man for every 1,619 women. Huh. 0.03, the same odds is a treat, achieving a perfect wow. SAT score. Wow. Yeah. There, so there you guys have a chance women. in uh, 1,160 guys of finding a dude that meets uh, six foot tall no, and over 100K. No, this left 50 bucks. <laughs> a woman needs to know how to cook just like how a man needs to know how to fight. Oh, God. There are just certain roles we are required to play, regardless of if you like it or not. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Gabriel, Gabriel Suku. When I go to the club with one of my girls, I always get numbers from my girls, bottle girls, bartenders just slip in my pocket. When I go with my boys, it's a struggle to even get them have a drink without girls at a table. Can a girls answer? Um. Yeah. Pig Z, fifty bucks. That had cap and hard. <laughs> Why do I don't even know what that means? My family member. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. We got um. When one girl's into you, you can tell in the the first three minutes when she ha likes you. It's like a doggy waiting for a treat. Yes, daddy. We'll walk away from anything else on a date in like fifteen minutes. That's from Gabriel yeah. Circle. Thank you. Myron speaks uh, for a lot of men. Y'all ladies just don't want to listen. A combative mind is a less understanding mind. Fifty dollars from no days left. Okay. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Make hundred twenty k a year. Enough for two people. Get on my program. I don't care if you're a bad b. Either you get on board with me and I will show you the world or you can go be a broke bee, live your best life. That's for Mr. Stereo Blocks. We got 13,000 live people. Like live the video, right now, guys. Like the video. Holy the shit. Channel. We got a lot of people in here. Gabriel Circu, let's do a mileage show. Guys, that know what mileage is. They can tell right away. The steering wheel cover just says no car fax report. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Buy podcast one. started off with four men and nine women. Now we have eight men and five women in the podcast. LOL, ladies being our... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck bro ladies being argumentative and masculine is extremely unattractive to all men myron is speaking nothing but facts men and women think uh differently As buy one people get one free okay uh and then uh dr easy 50 dollars how you know the show is evolving the women on the show are starting to disagree and debate each other hot damn baby 400k is just beginning my guys also thanks for answering my question about uh our Ridder running rider clan oh, okay rider clan. clan okay appreciate it dog um oh, and then uh, that was from earlier in my early 30s, making six figures for several years and battle each day in corporate America, I don't want to come home to a combative, unsubmissive woman, fresh and fair on point, and the ladies on the panel need to take heed. He speaks for us. Oh, yeah, that's because you were saying I don't speak for all men. Uh, Adam Walker. Guys are a lot more simpler than you ladies think, man. I'm just being honest here. Uh, I'm looking for someone that's fit, friendly, submissive, single, childless, and not in the danger zone. Ladies, men, uh, and women have different mating strategies. I don't care about the money. I have the money. FNF, congrats on 400K subscribers. Keep it up. Thank you, Evan. Uh, boom. And then uh, MD, MD Monroe. Monroe. What do you bring to the table that's special and has not been given to someone else? Damn, 50 dollars. Uh, and then Dalamar. Dalamar. Uh, Embassy party, blue blazer, 90% black hair across from her. Maybe the rest are certainly not going. Four cocktails with an uh, ambassador. 
class and etiquette matter for high value men when they open their their mouths you can tell instantly okay and then you bring dirt to the table like what the fuck throw it in the trash bro all i hear is uselessness big male okay <laughs> okay um okay real so we're on the topic of grape um and we can real, we can um go ahead real quick um yeah. chris could you bring up our clips channel and then we're gonna bring up a video as well <laughs> oh a second video okay yeah, second video yeah let's, let's so get into that real quick on, on a panel here we go hello <laughs> Oh, uh, that's the video. That's video. Sorry, guys. Who here likes, is getting ready. Who here likes to travel? And when I say travel, do you pay for it or does someone pay for you when you travel? Someone pays for me. Okay. And who is that? My boyfriend or whoever sponsoring the trip. Sugar daddy. Okay. No, uh, no. no that's doesn't fair. Have to be a sugar daddy. That's it's fair. Probably usually Daniela. <laughs> that's fair. Okay. When you travel, who pays for it? Um, most of the time is me. Okay. Myself. 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 Okay. Me and I also pay for my assistant. Okay. Period. Come on, man. You know, you know, we bossed <laughs> up yeah. over here. Yep, Ronnie. Okay, Daniela. I mean, I've had both. I've paid my own trip, so or I've, if I have a boyfriend, besides the last one, usually they pay for the you trip. You sponsored him. <laughs> the last one, I sponsored him every time. Oh shit! <laughs> Never Stupid. again. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, Miss Ryder. Um, a little bit of everything. Like I've, I've paid for my man's trip. Like as a gift like some accomplishment or something i've gifted it to him and usually he pays for my trips or spot like my work i go and they you know sponsor this trip for me to promote it or something work <laughs> okay maya um kind of the same thing like a little bit of everything but mainly i pay for my own trips um unless i'm in a relationship then they pay for it or if i have like a work thing then they pay for it okay Myself and also like Daniela said, like if I'm with someone, they pay for trips. So I'm curious. None of you on a panel been flown out before? Flewed out, man. By a guy that's not your man? Don't we, cap. We have. Yeah, okay. Have. Okay. Yes or no? Wait, say ask that again. Okay. That's sexist. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So on the panel, have you ever been flown out by a guy that's not your man? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yeah. No. Yes. First class. <laughs> okay. Okay, Daniela. Private jet. <laughs> okay, pri private jet. Okay. Yes. I need to be more in the market. I've been locked for. That's a long. yes, Maya. I mean, she's only been flown out once. No, I Should haven't. Been I times. haven't. I've, I've been in the market for a okay. month. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna play a, cl a clip here. That's sexist, but man. But real quick, they're getting free flights. <laughs> yeah. <Fucked up. laughs> real quick, um, Chris, can you bring the clip channel real quick, so if you don't mind? Good. So guys, we got four, thirteen k of you here watching right now. Real talk, man. We're almost at hundred k. Help us get there. Sub to the channel. Yeah, uh, sub to the channel, guys. Right there. Click the Ch Clips channel. You guys could see clips of me debating about a bunch of things. Uh, and uh, go ahead and hit that red button. Boom. Subscribe to the channel and help us hit 100,000. And uh, yes, yeah, so we can cop, uh, keep uh, spreading this toxic masculinity. We'll take the best parts of each podcast. We put it here for you and chop it up. Yep. Yeah, okay. We got a video right. to play too, as well. Right, let's play the second reaction video. Here we go. Um... Uh, Chris is pulling this up. And by the way, we got 13,400 live uh, viewers right now. Which one? The one we are fucking ladies? litty, man. Yeah, with, with the 13,000 of you guys in here. Yo, like the video, comment, and subscribe below. Say something along the lines of uh, grape culture is a myth. Vegas I don't know. Rush? <laughs> uh, yeah, what was that, Chris? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Vegas the one. That's the one. Fresh. All right, guys, so we're going to pull up this um uh, this video right here. Here we go. And um, let's enlarge that on our end real quick. Cool. All right. So this is uh, so we from Tumud ENT. We got a YouTuber here. Basically, he goes around asking questions about crazy stories. So we're in, they're in Vegas right now. They got flu uh, flued out. So let's hear what they got to say real quick. Y'all from Vegas. All right. So what's your craziest Vegas story? Craziest things you can think of. A uh, what happens stays in Vegas type of story. We still in Vegas, so it's going to stay. So you can be honest. Oh, it's this is dude that comes every month, and I just step on him. It's what? I just step on him, step on him, step on his face. Who? He pays my rent. You step on his face. You step on his face like barefooted? No, like with my shoes. And he pays your rent to step on his face. He doesn't want to touch my skin. <laughs> it must be great to be a woman. What? You heard that? Any crazy Vegas stories you can think of? Any cra anything crazy? Uh, my craziest is that I got uh, I didn't wear underwear and I wore a dress and then I went on a stripper pole and you didn't show me. That's the craziest part, right? I know. I'm so sorry. Damn, you should show me on Snapchat. You should have. Oh, no. What? Huh? What? <laughs> now y'all. Do you?
Vegas stories you can tell. No. None at all. I rob people. <laughs> Literally? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? No. Can't see this. She's bad at her job. Wait, what? Really, nigga? I don't even want her near me. I rob people. Is, is that the, uh, the same girl's uh, sister scammer? <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a girl on us. That's pretty common She's in scammer. Vegas, though, man. Yeah. You guys got to be careful with the Vegas. I, I, I'll, I'll be careful with that. I don't even want people like that around me. Okay, so we're on the panel. Can you tell us one of your craziest stories when you traveled? We'll start here. <laughs> I mean, the craziest stories I've been flown out by the producer Matrix, and it's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Did you meet um, Neil? No, no, no. I won't say any names. Like, oh shit! She okay. definitely smashed a few actors. Okay, <laughs> I like it. They made her sign that NDA. They're like, nah, you gotta sign this. <laughs> um, the craziest story was me and my friend. We got flown out to Cali to go meet this guy, and he was gonna give us a whole like you know celebrity type weekend. Took us to a bunch of parties and stuff. Well, after when we got back, he really liked my friend, so I was like, yo, like you want him? Go ahead. And she came running out the room crying because I guess he like put her in a chokehold and he was trying to stick like shit in her ass and she wasn't <laughs> with it. And oh, shit. he was like, okay, well, bitch, you could get the fuck out of my house right now. And he literally threw her suitcase out the front door. And then he looked at me and he was like, if you ain't gonna try it either, you could take your shit too. And I was like, I'll hop on that flight right He's now. Gay. <laughs> I was like the girl with the dragon tattoo movie. Like, yeah. I, like, I feel bad for her. Gotta, she was traumatized. You gotta what go back the and hell? fuck his shit up. Okay, yeah. I'll say God. this: if uh, if you look at at, as a, at a man as a wallet, he's gonna look at you as an object. No, That's no, the no, reality. No, That's what happens. No, well, initially. Like he, I'm not saying what he did was right, but that's the reality. Well, no, they had like a little thing going on, and she invited me on the trip type thing. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I I guess it just whatever happened between them didn't work out, and he thought because she didn't want it, I was going to be next. I said, no, put me on that flight. (laughs) That's (laughs) crazy, though. That's that. Yeah, I mean, no, he really picked her suitcase up and threw it out the front door and screamed at her, like literally, like threw her out and looked at me, and I was like, don't even touch me. I'll take my suitcase myself. (laughs) I'm amazed he paid for your guys' flight. What a stand-up gentleman. Okay. And, and it was first class. Both of us. There you go, first Kick, class. Picture a lot in style. Okay, talk about some. Uh, uh, I don't. I, I need to start traveling a little more because I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I, nothing so crazy like this. Okay. Like, to this level. Crazy story in Miami. In Miami, yeah. yeah. Crazy stories in Miami. Yeah. Alright, just just tell us one. Uh, oh my God, there's been a lot. Um, I don't know. What's your favorite? Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Everything's crazy in Miami. I don't know. Flash my boobs. Okay. Some pee all over <laughs> somewhere when I'm drunk. I pee. I, 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 I thought you pee. just said you just peed all over someone. I was like, wait, what? No, no. Oh, I have done that. I have done that. I have done that. And they love it. They love my pee. I can mix the sport with me. I can mix the sport with the same. Okay, I think it's all squirt. And I'm like, nah, it's pee too. A golden shower. <laughs> All right, well, squirting okay. is different. I, I'm just like squirting is like, a little pee. Okay, some guy. Okay, so they don't even know. Like, like, okay, Daniela, your story, please. Like a crazy story. Yeah. Like, yeah. When, <laughs> when you go flew it out. <laughs> okay. Well, the times that I've gotten flown out, I haven't had crazy stories, but I've had crazy stories like traveling with friends. <laughs> like what? Help me out, cause we've had many. <laughs> Uh, New York, St. Thomas. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot. I regions. actually got my, my JJ Pierce. Oh actually, that was pretty fun. <laughs> I That was going to be my answer. But oh, my God. I guess so you can say, say, it. it could be ours because we were together. Okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I guess, like, have you ever had a foursome? Well, I was seeing some millionaire. <laughs> a foursome? Three girls, one guy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> three girls, one guy is lit. good. I, so, 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 I like fun. wanted to make it fun for him huh. since you like he would he was amazing, and I actually that's how I met Sandra. I asked a friend for like hot girls. Oh and wow! I, and I DM'd her on Instagram and her friend, and I flew them out. We oh, had shit. the craziest weekend, and then her and I have been best friends. This is why. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, They're Eskimo yeah. sisters. You met. I met at her a foursome party. No, no, no! I flew her that. out. Like we met and it happened and it was all just like so smooth. Wait, 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 wait. What Daniela is always. <laughs> I gotta know. She makes it smooth. Was it? I make it. Smooth. Wait, wait, wait. Was it raw? It all started. <laughs> you know what? I don't remember and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you already started talking about it. Oh, oh shit! 
the, nope. the, that's lit. the real question I'm is here this. For the oh, shit, it all bro. started with a bathtub. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> the, the real question it is this. Me. Were you, uh, were you with your boyfriend like at the time? That's, no. that's the real question. No, no. she was with her no. piece of shit egg. Yo, is your boyfriend watching this I show? I don't remember that part. <laughs> Stop the cap. Wait, is he watching the show? Yeah, stop the cap. I hope not. Watch no, it probably come not. Up. Okay, uh, not. I mean, he's okay. my best friend, so he knows oh I'm crazy God, as fuck. A... Okay, Ronnie. This happened long Ronnie, tell us a story. Maybe when you were on a tour, some crazy that happened. I mean, you could go at, like... Bro, I don't got no stories that can top that. That's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't okay. think we can top that, man. <laughs> okay. That's too crazy. V? I mean, I've had like amazing experiences every time I get flown out. So I don't know about like crazy, but like I don't know exactly what are you, what are you trying to hear. Like we have different genres. <laughs> what are you trying? Like, to hear? like anything bad happened? Anything crazy happened? That was like, uh, okay, damn, n- never again. Like, nah, I'm real selective with who I go with. If I if, if like if I know I'm gonna go on a trip with you, I know it's, it's about to get down. I know we're gonna be lit, and I know you're like you're a cool person. You know what I'm saying? So I've always had like, but I mean, I get lit though. Like I'll get super lit. Her crazy I'm story crazy is she fun. made a sandwich and she didn't argue with him. That's her crazy story. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I added cheese. And I, <laughs> I said no cheese. No cheese. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't argue with him. That's the crazy story. Okay. Hey, bro. Someone in the comments said Monday night, bro. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious, bro. Oh, my Whoever God. Said that, the chat is lit, bro. This yeah. Whoever yeah. said that, you're yeah. freaking yeah. hilarious, bro. Yeah, bro. Shout out to the chat. No, the chat wow. I'm a, I was a wrestling go, fan go, as a kid, go, go. so wow. Yeah, there the you chat. go. Yeah. And uh, chat. ladies, don't read okay. the chat, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to I wanna hear yours. Um, my story is this. I went on the same trip with her. So yeah. us getting flown out by some random ass movie producer is pretty crazy. Stay out his multi-million dollar mansion, you know. Oh, you already know what went down there. A bunch Nothing. of... <laughs> Didn't even touch him. Nothing at all. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. No I'm not capping on true. that. I wouldn't lie. Like, I have no reason to. Stop the cap. Quick oh, question. Do do? How did you meet this producer? Her mutual friend. I met this guy randomly on Instagram. He DM'd me to come to this event. And then one day he was like, you should fly out to California. We went and then we met that guy, the producer, through him. Yeah, and then Wait, wait, wait. Weren't you the one talking about like, oh, <laughs> woman being raped? And you're like, fly out with somebody. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Rape oh. is a serious thing. What happened? What happened? So, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Yeah. Blew me out. I don't know who he was, yeah, but, but why? 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 Like, shit on my plate. Like, I'm going to take opportunities. That doesn't mean that I deserve to get hit. I was lost in the cap. I was lost in the cap. I feel safe with her. I'm not going to put myself in any situation where I know that I'm going to be unsafe. I have my own hotel. I have my own shit. I have my own friends in California that I can rely on if shit were to go south. I'm not going to put Broski, myself in a position happened? where I missed that it. So, yeah, earlier in the show, was she was saying that you might get great if you go outside late night jogging, right? It's yeah. a high, mm-hmm. high chance that it could happen. In your could. house. But then she went but, then, but then she went on a flight to some random guy on Instagram mm. to some to California. Millionaire, she's saying, what the hell? You just said it earlier. You might get great doing certain things. So she's like, oh, shit. Honestly, but I'm not going to stop that from living person, my life. I'm not going to let that fear stop me from going <laughs> so around. Like, 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 that's, so, that's a fear. I will not let a guy pay for my flight and go leave my where I feel my comfort, my family. My comfort's my sister. That's all I need. That's my ride or die right now. You're exposing yourself. Ladies, okay, okay. Just one mic at a time because you're making the the watchers suffer. Okay. I will simply say this. It's a fact, and I will show you after the show. Grape is not as prevalent as women say. It's one in 1900. That is the the cold hard fact. Now, if we were going to talk about SA, that's a whole other game. We could talk about that as well. But when I know well, grape, one in 1900 women is actually great. Period. That's that's what it comes down to. If we're going to go off the numbers, it's not as prevalent as people think. Um. So um. So okay. okay. So you went to this movie the okay. person's house. You didn't okay. smash him. No. Well, we ended up actually like getting kicked out because he was expecting something, and we obviously didn't give it to him. But fair enough, smart yeah. man. Yeah, I mean, fair enough, like, smart man. Whatever. I mean, it smart is woman. what it is. Yeah, I mean, smart woman. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm curious. Question, ladies. If you get flown out, do you expect not to smash, or is it like okay, flewed out? Yeah, it depends. We if made, I'm, if we you're made feeling it, it in the moment and you have that connection with the person. Mm. No, no, no. I'm talking about like before you even get on the plane. Oh, if the nigga says to you, leave, yo, I'm, I'm flying you out to come visit me, situation. please. Is that a smash? Yes or no? I'm flying you out to come see me. Is it a smash? Yes or no? No. If, yeah, no. if you haven't met them, no. 
expectation. Yes, yes, of course. Of course. On the a menu. guy is flying you know, to the fucking like, color, color, color book with you and text you and ask you what's your favorite MySpace. Like, on a dinner. Imagine. Hold on. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time, please. One at a time. Y'all have terrible mic etiquette, man. Like, horrible. One at a time, bro. One at a time. One at a time. I assume that's what he wants. Yes, if he doesn't know me and we're not friends. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, no, I assume that's what he wants. But we made it very clear that we were not about that, and he still flew us out. So. (laughs) Oh, you told him straight up, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that That was like we did, we did, because that's what I'm saying. Like, we wanted to prevent ourselves from being put in a very dangerous situation. So we said, hey, listen, like, don't expect anything from us. Like, we're just here to have a good time, and that's. He still paid for the tickets. Yeah, he still paid for the tickets. That's on him. I mean, well, probably he wanted to rape you. You know, I mean, the okay, most. Chris. So, V, yes or no? I mean, like, if I'm allowing you to fly me out, then more than likely, <laughs> I, I know what's going on. More than likely, you have a really good chance. Should you fuck it up and me not like your energy? Well, then it's like, I'm sorry, you should have, you know, maybe it's just not for me. I don't Yo, the chat I, I had me dead. Chat had Yo, they said there's, yeah. they said there's five Yo. guys at the table. <laughs> and then, they said she's just not for me. It's like, if I'm already letting that happen, then I know what's going to happen. Five guys at the table. Okay. Papi, you're, if you fly a girl out to see you, what do you expect? They love me and they Look, hate me at the same time. I feel like, yo, if I fly a girl out, I mean, you know what time it is. You know what yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you but then again, it's just like, if I fly a girl out, like, you know, we're going to actually, it's going to build, it's going to be a build up. I'm not just flying like random girls just to fly them out here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. I got to be someone that I'm actually, because if right. you fly them out, you got to, you got to spend Connection. time. You got to, you know what I mean? I, you know, it's just. You was, you responsible for them. Literally, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's gotta be like, somebody you like, yeah. For yeah, sure. yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. Or you getting up like buddy? With <laughs> yeah. Like, don't Yo. don't be buddy. Yeah, that dude, don't, don't, them two showed up at his house. He was just like. Horny nigga detective. <laughs> <laughs> Horny nigga detective. Where you at? other buddy yeah. from the restaurant. That's what I was really talking oh, about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddy yeah. from the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. He, the five hundred pounds, bro. Yeah. I mean, what, women are oh, winning, yeah. bro. Like they're they're finessing dudes left and right. Like for every. One guy that we tell, hey, don't take girls out on dinner dates and be an idiot and get finesse. There's 20 guys that are getting finesse. So girls yeah. are winning when it comes to dating, bro. Well, like, they're winning too because maybe they don't, you know, they don't. They're are you guys aware that of, are shy, that are this, and they'll, you know, they, they like, like to just have that attention. That, years, you like, know? Okay, ladies, decades, ladies, are you aware right? that only like 10 to 20% of men are having sex with like 90% of the girls? That sucks. And what are they doing? Yeah, I like, want to know what are they doing because they're we watching, need some. We need watching, what's going uh, on here. P-Hub, P-Hub. We have enough. No, Why? it's 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 this. It's that women's standards have went up and dating is very I mean, difficult for but, most men. No, but, but men look don't at know it. How I mean, to carry we could just we could just look at the facts. When we when they went around the room and said, "Yo, what does a guy need to make?" A lot of y'all said 150, 200. She said four million. <laughs> <laughs> um, the 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 reality is. That's like a lot of guys aren't making that. Someone yeah. just broke it down. They said yeah, in, in Florida, one in one thousand and six hundred and six hundred men is makes over hundred thousand dollars a year. That's and, great. And, but if and you have a really and good personality and you have your 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 way to carry yourself, you can and you know a man has to. That's why I said personality. That's cap cap. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like personality, you might yeah. say that. Oh, yeah, you say that. But a lot personality. of it has, has to do with the people you surround yourself with. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like the people I surround myself with. We're usually in a smaller group, so you know. But that's also why the world is a lot smaller. So be careful. What does that have to do with men not getting sex? That's nothing to do with. Sorry, you're not getting sex. That's why there's sex dolls. What are those? uh, The you're talking about the average like sex that they're like no 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 no. The point. That's why we got dildos. No no no. You're missing the point that I'm trying to say. Vibrators that came out. The point. Oh my god, the suckling ones. I bought. I got one. Ladies, 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 ladies. The point is, is that what I'm trying to say is that men struggle to date. A lot of men struggle to date. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Point. Uh, Ronnie, what's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> if you fly a girl out, what time is it? <laughs> I mean, bro, I feel like if you're getting flown out, you already know what it is. Exactly. You, can't, you can't get flown out and just like expect to say like you're just trying to have a good time. Like if you ever tell a nigga you want to have a good time, that means you like to any dude. That means like you know. You it's disrespectful. You want to have sex. Bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, oh, just, yeah, a good time. And they, like, I mean, they don't give it to A you. good time yeah. means, like, you want to have sex to any guy. You feel me? And, like, I'm not flying bitches out, bro. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's another level. Flying out. If it comes to you, bro. Facts. Uh, Daniela. Hmm? I mean, yeah, if, if a guy flies. If I mean, you know what's going to happen. Of course. Uh, like, right. you're flying me out. 
Okay. I'm not an idiot. Okay. <laughs> consciously, consciously, I know I'm gonna, you know. Okay, so yeah. we get the point here, right? Um, so yeah, that's just the point there that if you get flown out, you know what time it is. I mean, some girls finesse like these two are able to go to you know LA for free and just yeah. chill. Like no, no, but you know, do she what you told him. Do. She told the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's stupid. So that that's he's dumb. That, that's guys don't do that. In yeah, the, in the but chat. most guys do do that. I will say that there yeah, has been a, a couple lot. experiences yeah. where I have. Like a guy has literally been like, I don't want to fuck you. I just want you to fly out. And I yeah. just want to do, like mm -hmm. take you here and do this yeah. and that. And like the whole time didn't even like touch me all like that. Like Some the truth is, they, they no, the truth is they really want to have sex with you. Just that they're terrified of getting rejected. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. Just that like the or they're super thing. lonely, and then yeah. they just they just like, yeah, yeah. I some mean, people just want company. That's it. So, so, like, ladies, whatever. this. Yeah, they have the money cool. they remember, remember how I told you that a small minority of men are actually out here smashing chicks. Think about it. You guys would not be getting flown out if it was that easy. Yep. It's yeah. very difficult for a majority of men. Mm. That's why girls make a lot of money on, uh, you know, OnlyFans. Strip clubs exist. The whole erotic industry exists because men have a tough time getting. But sexual think about women. it. People go to the strip club and throw thousands of dollars yeah. and like leave. Like you don't fuck nobody. You just throw your money. Or but that, sometimes, that, like, sometimes that's an investment. Sometimes on the girl. <laughs> or like, sometimes they just like to sit there and just talk to you because like they're actually really lonely and like yeah, they don't have right. a female to talk to. I ain't going to the strip club and talk to girls. Yeah. I'm yeah, not yeah, saying. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, let me rephrase. Yeah. Let me rephrase I mean, that. And I'm go, not doing that investment. Okay. Wait. 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 Let me rephrase that. Older, me, like, older men. Oh, I'm, I'm talking about the strip club. Yes, a older men are, are the ones that are very lonely and want to talk to you yeah, rather they, than they have no younger. access. Yeah. Have nothing, you know. Or it's also the men. No offense, because some of you are watching, but no offense to like. I don't want to call you guys losers, but like <laughs> those guys that are thirsty though. Know. So the, well, the nerds and lames, you know. They call your fans. The, the gamers. Yeah. The ones that are scared to actually Incels. like physically like touch a woman. They just like to go for the company because like to them that's I'll, enjoyable. I'll be honest with you guys. Guys, if a guy is sitting there talking to you, the only reason he's talking to you is because he wants to get sex. Facts. He might <laughs> not know how to, 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 know how to get said sex from you, or <laughs> well, he might I'm not, not be able that, to pull but... it off. But in the back of his mind, he wants to have sex with you. That's the truth. And I believe, just like we said earlier, I think it's, just, it's very rare for men and women to be platonic. No, I can't yeah. do it. And and that's why I not, said earlier. Not, not when the woman is attractive. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. It just doesn't, yeah. doesn't make sense. Here's the thing. It's just very funny because men are very, you know, we like you guys got mad at me about the Louis Vuitton analogy. Men value their time to some degree. When we ask everybody in the table, have any of you guys been on a date with a woman and did not have uh, did not have intentions of having sex? No one said, uh, yeah. But when I asked the girls, have you been on a date with a guy with zero intentions of having sex with him? Yes. So what does it show? Women love attention from men, regardless if it comes from someone that they don't necessarily are aroused by or attracted to. Men, however, don't deal with women unless we unless we can get sex from them yeah. period that that's the reality i know women don't like hearing that but that's that's, the end goal. that's what it is yeah that's the end that's goal. what that's it the is end point. that's the, the goal but yeah. what, what like I, I we tell guys on this podcast it's pointless for you to have female friends it's pointless 100 percent. like women don't understand the male struggle whatsoever you know what i'm saying they just don't they're not in a position to actually help you as a man you need to have masculine friends around you that understand the male struggle and then girls can have their female friends no. and whatever yeah, I, I i'm not gonna lie like balance. one of my best friends and like he he plays professionally and that's one of my best friends i've never slept with him he never even tried it like you may believe it or not but it's a fact and it may be rare but it's also true i know a lot of people given you know the saying? opportunity for him to have sex with him without any repercussions he would do it and especially if, if he's a pro you know he's no, like, 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 I hate to say it, burst y'all ladies' bubble, but man, y'all are mean, not that he, special, bro. Like, what the hell? Like, y'all are not that special. Me too table? is a real thing. What? Huh? what do you bring to the table? What? What do, what do I bring you bring to the table? Yeah, like, you're not who so are special. you to say that we're yeah, not like, special? So what, what do you do other you feel than that way? talk? Oh, here we go. I just yeah. want to hear your perspective. Yeah, Mara, what makes you have by you men? No, I mean, I, I mean, we could talk about that, but the point I'm trying to make is that. So why don't we? I'm saying, I'm saying that a woman's friendship is pointless to a guy. Pointless. Women have more to offer than just sex. We're human beings with a brain and that's things cool. to say. We Absolutely. have more to offer Man, than I'm sex. Cool. That's, so why that's can't we be friends? Cool. Why can't we just because, all, I'm so, because, because the because male because, experience, uh, ladies, ladies, the reason why is because the male experience is extremely different from the female experience. We live in different worlds. Whether you guys want to accept it or not, y'all live in a world and we live in a world. I'll be honest with you. A lot of women live in a Disney fairy tale. Men have to live in a fact-based reality, mm -hmm. period. So you're not equipped to handle masculine problems. You think me and Fresh are going to get invited by some 
A-list producer to, to go to LA and to California out? to park. Hell no. I Hell mean, no. What does that have to do with anything, though? Like, why? No, no, if, because, there, if there was like a family because, because, and they thought you were super and, like, cool, they'd be like, come yeah. on. The thing is this. No, no, ladies. The reason why it matters is because your perception is your reality. So what happens in your life isn't going to happen in my life. Therefore, you're not equipped. So maybe able... you're not equipped to have a platonic relationship, but yeah. that doesn't mean no. that are. No, no, because I speak from experience. A fact is a fact. Okay, mm-hmm. you can you that can say like that. Opinion. You you can say that, but I'm telling guys, it's a waste of time to have female friends. That's because so I'm fucked up to say. Me. No, it's I'm not fucked up. up. My friends love me. Both what? male and female friends. You can't just well, have... when I say that, I have male friends. that come for me. They love me because okay. I've been solid. Okay, if I'm at a club and I'm getting drunk from a sister, if I'm real talk, real talk, having female friends is a liability. Ability, right? I can fight. That's that's a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're only it's... protecting women from other men. Men clearly are the fucking hey, issue here. Men, yeah. men, yeah. No, let me show you guys. You uh, 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 I might have tip. your back. You know you, you, when they get to Thursday, they get to Thursday. Okay. Okay. Are, are, are y'all gonna let me finish? Like you guys ask a question, then you all pounce. The point I'm trying to make is it's it is not in a man's best interest to have female friends. It's not. You guys are not. You guys don't live the same reality but we you do. You guys can't live without us. Women offer yeah. better advice when it comes to relationships, how to handle Incorrect. emotions. Men are so Incorrect. not Incorrect. You want to go to Incorrect. You, you want to go to a place where there's more women than men. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, tackle, let's tackle your first thing. You said women offer better relationship advice. I don't want to say is... better, but we offer a different perspective. From a, why An wouldn't you want to know a woman's perspective when it, you're dealing with a woman? No, here's the thing. Why is You don't ask the fish how to fish. You ask the fisherman how to fish. The thing is this, ladies. If I ask a girl for dating advice, she's going to tell me politically correct things. Oh, you should be nice. Oh, you should pay on the first date. You should be like this and be like that. Well, you wouldn't You're know because you don't him... have a platonic women Oh, friendship. no, I've heard, I've heard yeah, plenty yeah. of women give dating many. advice. Yeah, it, and what they typically do is they give politically correct nonsense that's going to make the man a better beta male. Not this is true. why. Huh? What? There's all type of people. You, we can't judge a book, a book like a cover. Like you can't judge. We've you know? interviewed hundreds, hundreds of, women. of women on this podcast, hundreds. and when we ask them, "What do you think a man wants?" or we or they talk about what women want, they don't know. Nine out of ten times, they can't even describe it. And on top of that, they may they tell you things to do that's actually going to make you less attractive to women. The thing is this: the things that make a woman aroused by a man are politically incorrect. You don't got to text her. You don't. You shouldn't be texting her back every now and then. You should be giving her less attention. You should be only giving her attention when she behaves accordingly. You should not be putting her on a pedestal. You should be treating her like crap. All these things women are never going to admit actually makes a man more attractive. That's because they don't value their self worth, and that's why they're into women like that. One time, I got all interrupting you when I am goddamn talking. Well, I wasn't finished. I wasn't finished. You were. You were. I was not finished. I was not finished. Sorry. Go ahead. So. The things that make a man arousing and attractive are politically incorrect. So women are never going to tell you, ignore her. Don't put her on a pedestal. See other women. Don't take her that serious. Uh, Only reward her when she behaves uh, well and punish the bad. Like women are never going to say these things because that puts you at a disadvantage when when men know these things. So you're not going to tell them the God honest truth about what makes a man arousing because you guys don't even know what, what makes a man arousing. And there are studies to show it that women don't know what they're actually aroused by. We're not going to say study. those things. What? What? We're no, not. What? I, can, I know I what talk I'm about the study by. after, but what's your point? Go ahead with your okay. rebuttal. You had something you wanted to say, go. right? I was just going to say that we're not. Well, no, say she had those... something. No, no, no. I, I, I lost God. track. There was so much. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I was with you like, for a second, really, so you yeah, said yeah, that yeah, I, we didn't lie. know what we were around. I was. That's true. That's true. That's true. Women do not know what they're around. Well, I know what I'm around. Actually, men, men like to feel like more masculine. They like to feel bigger. They like to feel like they're protecting you. They like to feel like they feed their ego. They just. It's that masculine energy. Yes. And I like That's to feel that, that from a is. man too. And if you make them feel that way, women, by being smart, like even though you know that you're not submissive, you make them feel like you are, you're controlling. But we gotta be smarter. We gotta just go around That's it. That. We just make them feel. You like, make them feel great about even if you know and their you ego can... and all of that. Yes. Okay. I mean, that might That's be your girl like. game, but the point is, is that like you guys don't know how to be. Man. The point I'm trying to make is that y'all don't know how to be attractive to a woman as a man. That's what I'm trying to say. How to be attractive? I hope to be a man. I'm not a man. We're feminine. Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. So explain it. You you prove my point that you guys are not equipped to be able to teach guys how to get girls. You're just not. I'm, I'm not trying to. How do you get all. girls? Because I want to know. I haven't said. Yeah, I'm trying to rewind this. How okay. was that? No. That was not me. Because you, because you, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Fuck that. No. What happened was, I said, 
women, it's pointless to be, have female platonic friends. You guys said, no, it's not. You can have a female friend because she can weigh in on relationships and teach you how women that, think that and help you with girls. Person. And I yeah. said, that no. That's 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 that that's me and my boy and clicked, then, and we just got then, that energy. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because like, I'm going to go back since you guys all have amnesia all of a sudden. Then, then you said, well, she can give you help on relationships. I said, no, because they don't actually know what's attractive. Said she said that. And then she also said, well, women are more emotionally in tune and they can help you with that. And I say, that's also cap because to be more attractive to women, you don't show your emotions. Mm -mm. It makes you less attractive. I love a vulnerable man who opens cap. up about his emotions. That is the second thing to me. I can't, oh my God. Don't do it. I don't like that. Don't do it. But that's the thing. Don't Everyone do it. has their own no, preference, but I'm no speaking from my personal mm -hmm. experience. So you can't say for all women that we don't like an emotional man. I do. You were saying um, you can earlier. Be emotional. And I'm gonna try to get that thought back for you. Guys, don't listen to that. Do not be emotional around your girl. It's all no. cap. Women don't, are not equipped not. to handle you crying in front of them. Do you know, do you know, do you know why? Wait, 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 wait. Don't do it. I want to try. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do Never do that. Do you know why men are so violent? Men are so violent because they can't express their emotions in a healthy way, which is why they go and buy a gun and go shoot up a school because they. Men are taught not to express their emotions. Men are not taught to express their emotions. You hold it in until it explodes. They are not getting laid. <laughs> that's a big part give of it. Give him that's the, give him sad. the, that's the, so the sad. kitty. You guys no, the no, no. Think about it, right? School shooter, what do you say? Give him a pocket pussy if he's not going to My girlfriend. There's solutions to these problems. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Say give him the kitty. Ladies, stop. Hey, listen. Stop. All right? All right, she was adamant about making a point. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, I was saying, OK, so like 90 percent of all the world's violent crimes are committed by men. I'm saying uh -huh. that there's definitely a correlation like a between how society teaches men that, oh, don't you don't cry like a girl. Don't hit like a girl. Like saying that feminine qualities like expressing emotions is negative. But in reality, logic and emotion are both just as important. Do your you... heart and your brain work together. It's not just the brain. You also have to listen to the heart. That's why it's a beautiful thing when men can express their emotions. Do you know, right, if all men act on their heart and emotions? People not all hard. No, no, people will be dead. Literally, people will be dead. Because think about it, right? We're being Every day. No, no, think about people it, right? People are still dead. No, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm saying it'll be even worse than, than right now. How do you know if it hasn't happened? Because we are holding in our emotions. If you got mad or pissed off, I'm going to punch the if, shit out of you. If, no, no, I'm going to no, no. kill you. And you if guys you do. That's why the violence is so It is controlled. If you say, guys, go into your feelings. You know what's going to happen? Everywhere. No, if you actually think about it, Call of Duty. Nah, dude, dead ass. But, dead ass. So hold on, fresh ladies. But yeah. but here's the second part, though. Marin also meant to if guys have to express their emotions to a, to a, to they a do voice, it to men, not to women. The boys, not to women, to to the men. To the Crying boys. in front of a woman is the most unattractive thing you can do. Women are not equipped to handle a man's emotions. You're not a That's woman. A you can say, You're not a woman. You can't. Um, no, 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 no. Here's the thing. Like I said, we know what makes a man attractive to a woman because we are professional womanizers at this point. Oh. We know what makes girls tick and what makes them tick off. And one of the ways to tick them off is to cry in front of them and show emotion. Yep. You can say whatever you want about a man being emotion, like showing emotion, all this other stuff. That's cap. A man that cries and is sensitive is unattractive. Yes, not for okay? me. Yes, it, is. it is unattractive. You can't, you can't say that for all women. Right here. Okay, you can say, you know what? Then you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, can you please stop just like chiming in randomly? Yeah, please, like, it's, please, it's please. extremely annoying. If you have something to say, wait, and then we can like call on you and you say something. But it's like, all these mics, this is not like some crazy like conversation, man. It's a podcast, one at a time. So like I was saying with you, you can say that, but you guys might be exceptions to the rule. If I took 100 women and I said, can a guy cry and be sensitive in front of you? Are you off? You leaving? Yep, okay, she, then yep, she can go. All right, talk. turn the cameras on. Kick, kick her out. All right, cool. There we go. <laughs> you guys should do that. You guys should do like a survey and ask. Can I use about use those statistics? Yeah. I feel like that'd be really interesting. Yeah, we've asked many women on the show. and um, Basically, it's based on how you express it. Yeah. Also, What's up? <laughs> oh, you want friend? I, huh? I don't want to say it too long. Okay. Okay. We got work in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> no, I gotta. Yeah. I gotta, yeah. I gotta, yeah. I gotta, I gotta roll like just being an. Yeah, job I gotta go do. No, no, it's just more like. Uh, what happened? So Frank Castle is now here, everyone. <laughs> great show, great show. <laughs> To follow me out. on Instagram, V underscore. Oh, I'm telling you, girl, I, everything you were styles. saying, I was like, <laughs> give it to me, baby. <laughs> I mean, I only speak from experience. Yeah, you know? yeah I'm, I'm educated. Oh, also, too, 
Also, I got oh. one thing to say. Listen, because wow. I seen okay. all you, all you gamers came for me as soon as I made a comment about y'all. Listen, I love y'all. <laughs> y'all are nice. I have some really nice gamer friends. Okay, I was just saying in that circumstance, there's a lot of gamers that I've met that really just like. Wait, what? Oh. No, no. Keep going, girl. I'm not so Um, There's just a lot of gamers that I've met in my industry that are very nervous to talk to females and are very nervous to touch them. So it wasn't offensive to any of you. So I'm sorry if I offended any of you. I love all the gamers. But that was just my analogy for the circumstances. Oh my God! Certain circumstance, I can't talk. But I so yeah. don't come at me. Like, don't come at me because I chat, love you all. The chat was mad at you. Though, I know, and that's why I'm saying. Hard. Listen, gamers, I love Listen. all of you. I really do. Listen, I'll be your Listen. fucking Listen. cheerleader Listen. in the background. Listen. I'll cheer you guys on. Trying but, to win the okay. game is over now. Man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> coming back. Wait, video game? But no, but yes, no, no. From. Listen, I never mean to offend anybody when I'm using it in an analogy. So if I do, oh. I do apologize. I'm just saying that. In certain okay. circumstances. Okay, so uh, she's getting uh, Frank Castle, I guess. Um, she's oh, guys, right uh, now. Uh, Patreon, it's fine. And uh, yeah, Chris, uh, she recorded the whole thing. But yeah, guys, um, this was quite um, the show. Why were you guys talking about video games? I love video games. What happened? Oh, she, oh, no, oh no, no, no. She was saying earlier that like you know gamers kind of come in a strip club and they kind of like want the attention. Yeah. Oh. But she didn't They're mean just it. Really she didn't mean it in a bad way. But yeah. they, they kind of took it like oh. No. I really did not mean it in a bad but, way. Just but okay. we got. It. But yeah, so I guess we'll do. We got uh, some some chats. Are we gonna read it? Yeah. Uh, one second. I'm yeah, up. I'll move over. Um, Super yeah. chats. All right. Hold on, one second. What was her issue, bro? No, I mean she didn't like that I told her like stop doing that. D don't respect the platform. I gotta tell her. You know what I'm saying? She did it like 20 times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like would randomly just talk when other people are talking. <laughs> Uh, yo, it's my all right. Uh, looks like she's having the time of her life over there right now. Oh, well, what a show, people! What a show tonight. Uh, which it happens. Uh, shout out Charlie Naughty. I'm great. Uh, Victor B, I hate when women act like men don't get graped. If you look at prison stats, men are great more than women. Yeah, that's very true. Men are uh, for get great way more than women. Do. Uh, Charlie Naughty, uh, shout out to the podcast Papier. to your and Ronnie. Thank you, man. All Appreciate right. it. And then uh, Jose, uh, Joseph uh, Perry, hundred dollars. Statistically, men get great more than uh, women because of the prison system. That's true. Uh, I mentioned that earlier. And then um, I think, bro, ladies, y'all don't know nothing. Me as a young so-called black man have been sexually assaulted than all the women at the show combined. And by women, just last week, a woman harassed me to get into the elevator with her. And then what saved me was the elevator camera. Wow. Um, okay. David's remedy. Um, uh, lost my roommate due to false essay accusation just because he rejected her when she went on a date. She told the whole school. She tainted his name. He tried giving his side of the story. No one listened. He gave up and was found. <laughs> With a hole in his head. Oh, yeah, that happens cool. a lot. That's Quite yeah. a bit. Uh, Mercy. One in three women are more likely to be alone for the rest of their <laughs> life, especially with modern day women. Oh, man. <laughs> I think what you, the, the study that you were saying with one in three women, you, I think it's one in five is what you were trying to say. Uh, that, that's the common one. They say one in five women is graped on a, se a, comp a college campus for sexually assaulted. Mr. Okay. Unfinessable. Captain Women's Studies versus Myron the Punisher. Here we go. Grape culture is a myth. In 2019, there were more men falsely accused of grape than there were anti- <laughs> Uh, hate crimes. The two to eight uh, statistic is womanist propaganda. That's very true. Where's the link at, though? Where it at? I don't see it. All right, we will. Uh, oh we will God, give you the link tree so after funny. the show. Yes. Uh, Aaron Newby. Newby. Her boyfriend got the Arthur fist <laughs> clenched, uh, crying in the mirror. Listen to Marvin's room right now. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, Ruben oh. Gonzalez. If, if you, you fly, fly, you give up give... the pie. That's hilarious. <laughs> Young activist, yo, I can't get over how oblivious the blonde white girl is. LMAO, Myron's points go right over her head. <laughs> you have a rebuttal for that? No. Yeah. Didn't. I mean, guys, what do you expect? Like, no offense. You're I'm 22 not letting years old. it go over my head. I'm just responding to what you're saying. With emotion. <laughs> I mean, that's how it's normal to react with emotion because emotion is from experiences. But here's, from... here's yeah, but, but, and also, reality. I've been giving hella facts. I have my statistics ready and out. For what statistic have you cited? That uh, ninety percent of all violent crime is committed by men, and 98 percent of all grape is committed by men. So men are being graped by men. So clearly the issue is but, right but, there. But remember, but, you gave that statistic to say that women you, you don't feel safe as a woman, and I literally yeah. told you that men are far more likely to be victims. So your statistic proves my point exactly that your claim is erroneous that you don't feel safe when you walk around as a woman. Because I'm talking about essay, I'm not talking about violence. Like no guy's gonna run up to me and beat me up. 
without griping me first. That's their motive. But we literally just told you the chances of you, the likelihood of you actually being griped are one in 1900. And the chances of you getting beat up while you are running at night is very slim as well. No, I am more likely as a man to get assaulted than you are. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Your your stat that 90% of men commit violent crimes only fuels my argument that men are more likely to be the victims of said yeah, violent crime. I can't argue because I, I, I'd rather see the link and see the information that you're reading because I don't is have... This I, I personally don't, it is, I don't believe it. It is an like empirical I, fact that something? men are the victims of violent crime. Majority, like, overwhelmingly, not women. Yeah, vi- you just violent crime, yes. yes. I'm talking about essay and grape. Not, okay. Not yeah. Grape is not as prevalent as you think. Yeah. Okay, and I'd like to see the article. I okay, I will give you the FBI stat on it, that, but one in 1,900 women approximately is actually great. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. Okay, uh, H.H. Rivy, $50. If any of these argumentative women actually wanted to learn something, they'd stop staring at the beginning of, starting at the, <laughs> the beginning of their sentences during the middle of Myron's. You're getting the secrets to how to get the man you want or will want. Listen up. Eh, well, you know, eh. they, they're, they're, they're young guys. It is yeah. what it is. Uh, okay, are we caught up? <laughs> no, 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 we're not. Uh, yeah. Let's see. There you go. Um, fifty dollars, Varum Vikram. Uh, why do we have such a crass, loud female panel, and why is Chris not even interjecting once when they are constantly talking over uh, Myron and Fresh like he usually does? He has been. guys. Yeah, sometimes like just let the girls talk. Yeah, yeah. they won't be rude about it too yeah. much. But well, well, know. this the the girl in the white, like she was the worst uh, offender of it. I think she was she too drunk, mad. bro. Yeah. Huh? She was too lit. I don't know, bro. Like, oh, she's, yeah. she's clearly has never been told in her life to shut up. Uh, 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 the personality trait agreeableness is the biggest predicator of violence and crime. Low agreeableness is the number one predicator of viol- uh, crime and violence. Blonde is wrong about expressing emotions. Look up cited studies. Yeah. I mean, it, dude, it's just common sense. Like, I mean, women are not attracted to emotional men. Like, we could say that all we want, but one of the biggest complaints of modern day women is the men are too soy. They're too soft. Yeah, they're too beta. And they're yeah. too emotional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we can say, oh, if you take 100 women and you ask them, what do you want? It, do, if you take 100 women and ask them, do you want a guy that's going to be emotional and cry in front of you? They're going to say no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely not. So All they're right. just not going to like it. You might say, I like it, but you're an anomaly then. You're an exception to the rule. But the exception is not I don't think an anomaly, but I feel like, sure, maybe the majority of women, but there's still that percentage of women. That okay. Uh, an insignif- a statistically insignificant amount of women that care about emotional men. Sure. And, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know the facts, so I can't really speak on that. All right, we got Luis Martinez, 50 bucks. Wait, wait, what? what? Blondie is the worst. She thinks men are safe at night and can't understand that big conversations require generalizations. Constantly pointing out outliers is not productive to the conversation. No, you have something no I'm just looking. I'm I'm chill. I mean, you're a recent college grad, so I was... Uh, yeah. What, what'd you major in? Political science. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Can you no tell lawyers? Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you guys are terrible at arguing because as a lawyer, you're supposed to argue off of facts. I am arguing She's off of facts. facts. I just, I can't argue with the information you're presenting because I haven't personally seen that information. So I just listen Wait, and that's on. it. Okay. I, being being ill-equipped for the argument is not a defense to your bad argument. No, I'm not ill-equipped. I yes, have, you are. I have my arguments all set in stone. That right you here. believe in. Your, your arguments <laughs> only perpetuated the strength of my argument further. 90% okay. of men commit the violent crimes. True. That's what we said. <laughs> but they commit them against other men predominantly, not women. Okay, and 85% and of domestic violence is women. They are targets. So still, regardless, women are dying and getting beat up by men <laughs> and raped. <laughs> and essay. Okay. That was my main point. I, all I was saying that women are scared to go jog at night. We were like... It's a danger to walk from the grocery store back to your car without holding your keys in between your fists. And then what okay. do you say? How you feel in reality are two different things. But you can travel to California. Yeah. <laughs> but it's somebody you don't yeah, know. With my sister. I'm right. saying when I'm alone. When I'm alone, I don't normally always Let's feel so alone. Well, human trafficking, if, did, a lot of women think if you travel with your homegirl, human trafficking see that as like a two for one. Yeah. Like, <laughs> two girls versus one fuck? guy has been done, could be done. <laughs> Two yeah. girls, the that, that's a little that's a little different. buy one get one free listen that's a little different that's not different can, that's not different, well, that's not talk, different because talk. down here in florida yep. they when they had that press conference they brought that up just because you travel with women that does not no, make no, you no. equally not, better protect them let makes me you, finish like weaker there's a difference between walking out at night by yourself mm-hmm. and going somewhere exactly. versus versus having a flight somewhere where people know you're flying somewhere and you're meeting <laughs> exactly. somebody and people know you're comparing apples to celery no if you're walking in your own neighborhood doesn't everybody know you live there? Like, and you're They're walking sleeping. around. It doesn't it's matter where you walk. PM. The point is, you could walk anywhere at night. Okay. And well, people might it's actually not worse to travel. travel. That's not but, 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 ladies, uh, any flight. The, the, the argument but. here is that you can feel unsafe, but the fact you that you feel be. unsafe 
does does not mean that you are not safe. Not necessarily. You should always listen to your intuition. Yeah, that's but true. I feel like a millionaire. You have to but be not. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 no, 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 like, like until you, know, you have to be careful. Like, 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 like ladies, like, ladies. What would you point, recommend? We would gotta live. We gotta live friend? in reality. Like, we can say, I don't feel safe walking out at night. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with not feeling safe about walking out at night. But what I'm saying is, you are statistically less likely to be the victim of a violent crime as a woman than you are as a man. And it is not as dangerous as you think. I was That's literally on the news for being stalked and someone was, a man was watching me sleep. So it's really, it happens a lot more what, often. What than did I, That's what a did danger. I say? What That's did a I danger. S- Stalkers, peeping toms eventually end up as serial killers. That's okay. How they all what, start. what did I say earlier in the show? I said, your truth is not the objective truth. Your experiences are not the truth necessarily. You, if, the, the thing is that that's crazy, uh, and a lot of modern-day women adopt this ideology that they think that their truth is the objective truth. No. No. Your truth not. is relative. Like, it's your my... experience is relative to you. Yes. But that does not mean that it is the truth, man. Yeah, it's my perspective. Okay. I know, but so, I'm but your perspective is not likely. the truth. Yeah. Your perspective is not the objective truth. But you're saying vice versa. Vice versa, exactly. It's, no, it's we're both to, of us speaking from our own perspective. Times, we, so no, really hold on, hold on. We've actually we've been able to cite our resources. I've been followed three times from my job, from what? the gym, and I forgot what the last That's one was. That's unsafe. How three would you times. feel safe after right. walking home from the gym? Oh, okay. So, like, so <laughs> it happens really often. Yeah, okay. women are constantly in fucking. But, really, but, really but, often. but, did you? I think the statistics just don't have enough women report what has happened to them. Yeah, because that's just, what that's it not, means. That's not okay. something that you do. Like, okay, did you, you get assaulted? Did you, did you actually get assaulted? Actually, they followed yes. you. They yes. followed you. Yes, and I oh, have been assaulted. Yeah. Okay, what they do to you? I can be one in nineteen hundred. What What did that's, they do to you? That's same. I'm one in nineteen hundred as well. Podcast, but I'm just telling you, I have been followed three times, and I have been assaulted. Okay, listen. Okay. You okay. can say that. You can say that, but we don't know. Real, real talk. Oh we, my we, god! You can say you that, hey, but we don't girly, know. I I believe you, and I will always believe my fellow girlies because it takes a lot of fucking balls to come out and say that that's happened to you. Yeah, and that's the problem, audacity though. that you have to shut someone down who's sitting on your podcast giving you content and shutting her down and saying she, oh, I don't know if that's... That's so... Because, because oh you guys are changing... Because you guys are changing the goalposts. Yeah. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because she's changing the goalposts. It's happened to at least two or three of my friends. Can you, listen, getting followed, getting followed is not is not a violent crime. And then I said, oh, were you assaulted? Oh, that yes, I was. Why does it matter? Well, she was harassment. followed. You want to be followed? No. I've so why are you? Oh, listen, well, I'm time. not going to sit here Look, and, and say, can I I'm a victim. I've been followed. Can I the, the talk she was a victim. Hold on. She's a survivor, actually. Okay. The talk originally was great. Sure. Then we moved on to essay. Then we moved on to vi- uh, uh, being a victim of violent crime. Now we're on following. Yeah. Uh, like, it's, it's, yeah, we're, we're keeping yeah, moving. You see how much shit happens to women? You see how much shit happens to women? By men. Okay. You can, Every single fucking day. Okay. But. <laughs> um, so you I'm can just, say that. Oh, I yeah. got followed and everything else like that. But n- did something happen? I mean, th- she just th- said bad things happened. She just her. said she got assaulted. Okay. What what happened to you? She doesn't want she to does, talk about She doesn't it. need to say that. You want me to go over my, relive see, my trauma. Here's a problem, right? And tell you what We happened. live in a believe all yeah. women world. Yeah. Yeah. world. That's a problem. That's a problem. Look, like, she, it, she can. She, yeah. And I'm not saying this to her. I'm not saying that she lied. I'm not saying she's lying. Great. But what I'm saying yeah, is this: who, who would lie about that? Number one what? and number two. Why no. does it a matter? lot of women lie? About a lot of women lie. Why would she lie about it? Why would she lie about it? People do lie about why? it. Of course. But yes. I'm saying, why would she lie about it on the so podcast? Because, right. because, because so whether you, you ladies want to accept it or not, whether you ladies want to accept it or not, a lot of women lie about being victims to get attention, to get praise, to get oh my god, you're so strong. We don't know. We don't know. I don't know. We'll say this though. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you I believe everything she says because this is the crazy. See, we live in hysteria. Wow, Wow is right. Why? why? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is why society isn't progressing because men refuse to listen to women. Listen. No, no, no. This country was built upon do process. Colonizers literally killing all the natives. That's what it was built on. Yeah. Actually. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Colonizers that you're benefiting from right now in the United States. I'm not benefiting from no fucking colonizer. That's for damn sure. Yeah, you Uh, are. You are living in the United States of America. Yep. I'm I'm blessed to live in the United States. Yes, which was civilized by men. Okay. Civilized. Shitty men. Okay. So anyway, they raped by women. Men. They killed people. They okay. fucked up everything. Well, well. Hey, you're here. They're Very first world people. country. So you clearly benefited from the raping and the killing. United That's the States way is the world. a first world country. Okay. 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 So the, the world. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
we it's crazy now that we live in a world where people can make accusations, right? And we're sitting here saying, believe all women. All I'm simply saying is, you gotta show the I don't know. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. You're an asshole. You're a jerk. No, this country was founded upon due process of law, innocent until proven guilty. Because we have a hysteria running around where women are running around saying, believe all women. I've been graped. I've been this. I've been that. And here's the thing. Now that it's getting out there with me too, a lot of women are getting proven that it's false. It's yeah. not real. They're using it as a tool to destroy a man's life because of some well, kind of pettiness up. or anger. So excuse me if I say, I don't know. No, that's We need fine. to prove it. That's fine. Because I'm not going to be one of these soy boys that's going to tell you believe all women. Fuck that. This country was built upon you can have due process. And if you want to complain and say, this is a, this is fucked up and all men are assholes and whatever, you benefit off the world that men created and you're ungrateful. Period. You can have your doubts, but when someone is sitting right in front of your face saying a very vulnerable and very traumatic That's story, feelings. He wants the facts. first thing you say is you offer compassion and you listen. That's you feelings. don't shut them down immediately. That's, that's feelings. And well, feelings are just as important as the fucking brain. Well, logic. Also, your heart has many, an own nervous yeah. system. It works on its like your heart yeah. is just as important as your There's brain. There's also many women that went so. to the stand and said, hey, he did this to me. And it was fa- and the guy was falsely accused. And she that never happened. He, 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 that happens. All the time. Yes, so, so, so we're saying, look, I can believe her when I see some facts that actually happened. If not, where the fuck are I'm, the facts? You think someone was recording her sexual assault? No, we're saying <laughs> that she could say, "Oh, fuck? this happened to me. That happened to me." We Point don't know. Me. We're just saying, she... "Look, men, men are in jail right now for that false accusation." What, what, are you what happens them? more, yeah, false look, accusations look, or look, actual grape? So let's focus on what's that. actually real she... and not the. La La Dreamland, Disneyland, I mean, which is the false accusations, which is two percent. I mean, we, La La Land. Right she there. didn't say a name though. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't sit here and call anybody out. She's literally just talking about an experience. She's not here saying this person did this, this to me, and this is factual. She's just saying this is what happened. Okay, to listen. Me. You guys can say That's whatever you want, is. but men lie, women lie. Unless I see facts. That's it. And you don't have to, you, you could, you could call me an asshole or whatever, but I didn't this, call you an this, asshole. Uh, well, you're, you're, like, you're a jerk and you're toxic. Things. You know, just, made, just, made a couple, I didn't say you're either. I, either. I didn't say you're toxic. I never no, called no, you any names you know, you, whatsoever. You, you, you I'm you very respectful. It's really, look, look, <laughs> definitely look, call me some names. Yo, listen, but, listen, names. listen, it's very, look, it's very hard, y'all, coming on here and talking to a bunch of people about something that's happened to you, man. And maybe you can't relate to that. They but whether a person, listen, whether a person is lying or not, like just the fact that this is somebody just putting themselves out there like bro just just listen and you don't have to agree you don't have to say it's true but just listen because guess what this is a trigger for so many people that are listening men and women because yes you're right it happens to men maybe a thousand times more get reported a hundred percent but the point is bro look 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 i was molested when i was 12 right all right, look, we're, no, we're no, not no, gonna. This actually happened. No, let no, me no, finish. No, we're not. We're not and gonna. It, and we're I not never gonna talk about this right now because be, we're no, on no, YouTube. No. We're not gonna talk exactly. about that. Exactly. Well, no, we, you already want to speak we're, on this. We're not, so we're not gonna talk about this on YouTube. Quick. Listen, we're, it happens. Did, a lot of things uh, don't yeah. get reported. Did, a lot of are you listening? Don't get reported. I don't report mine either. Okay, it's listen, hard, man. It's a hard topic. Y- 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 it is could, a hard y- topic. Y'all y- could, y- could say this like, hey, it happened to me, blah, blah, blah. I, I get it. It, it. it does happen. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. But what I am saying Just is that. Sympathy. Yeah, I'm, show I'm, sympathy I'm, no, for us. No, because I'm not going to sit no. here and believe so, every I'm single woman that either. makes the accusation because I know a lot of women lie out of some pettiness you're very naive bro very i'm very naive, naive. you're so no, lucky you no. haven't been and, and you should no. talk to you're your naive. Lucky, bro. you're naive you for not realizing you don't see the so other lucky. side Fresh, uh, you don't see the other side you don't see all the men that lost their lives and we're their not talking about whether men off or of not. the accusation yeah no. we're not talking about men right but now we're talking what? about her because the woman's experience matters more no that's not it there's a time and there's a place to talk about men's issues right now we're not talking about that no men matter we could talk about men's issues as long we could talk about men's that's, issues that's right what now, this but that's is. no. Yeah, this we is were talking podcast. about her it's a foreign concept. experience, and okay. now y'all and look, are turning it, it to this, quick. and you flipped it real quick. Instead no, of no, we just said we her. don't know. We just said we don't know. Look, y'all and got do, are y'all getting fuck, triggered? So we no, don't no, know. No, but yeah. do you see how triggered unsympathetic that is? Like, oh, my mom died. Oh, yeah, I don't. Did she? Did she? Where's where's the obituary? Where's the obituary, guys? Show me pictures of your mom in her coffin. You see how stupid that sounds? No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. Yeah, oh. Number one, don't disrespect me on my platform. So I number two, you said fucking dumb, bro. That's what you just said. Not you. I just said like no. Well, that was no, fucking yeah, dumb. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're gonna chill. You're not gonna disrespect me on my platform. Number one, the world does not owe you sympathy. Period. No one owes you sympathy. Okay. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a modern day concept that people are supposed to sit here and you know you know feel bad for your struggles or whatever. No, no one owes you sympathy. Period. All I'm simply saying is I need facts. 
It is what it is. Because I don't believe anyone. If a man makes an accusation or a woman, I don't believe anyone until there's facts. You believe in God? All I'm saying is treat everyone equal, but you have a problem with that. You want preference for women and not for men. Yep. I'm simply telling you, men get their lives destroyed off of accusations like this, so I need facts. You're not compassionate. But I tell you the other side, on the male side, that men get their lives ruined over this. Well, that's, we're not talking about men's we're issues. Not. We're talking about you, women. They're flipping and it. I'm, no, I'm telling you that I treat both sides equally. I don't know if she, if she was assaulted. I don't know if how the guy did How many women it, get their lives ruined know, by getting raped? It's okay. the same shit. And how many men get and their lives ruined? But we both. don't care about the men. Just no, we do. No, no, you don't. Right. Because no, you don't. as I said, dual process, we need to hear both sides. You're incompassionate. And I said, you know what? The world doesn't owe you compassion. The world doesn't owe you sympathy. We're talking about her and okay. you flipped it to men. Uh, no, 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 no. I said, well, we did. I don't know. And you guys got triggered by me saying, I don't know. I got assaulted. A lot of women come on and say things like, I've been followed. I've been this. It's like. It, it, and it could be by women, too, by the way. Like, they could. They're, they're the person committing the crime could be a woman, by the way. You know, you don't know the full story. You're not listening. You're not really giving them a She said a guy. She was very clear about that. Yeah. There's a guy following her. She's very clear about that. Yeah, very okay. clear. Okay. So we're, we're listening. We're going to move on. I don't on know if you were, but... Um, um, Chris, we're going to do some Super Chats, sir? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. I mean, this, this, is, this is great because, guys, this shows you that a lot of modern-day women don't give a fuck about your problems. And that's fine. Nope. That's not true. The not world true does not... At all. Yeah, I care about your problems, but you guys aren't even willing but, to talk but, about your but problems. Women's problem, but women's problems well, matter more. What whole time yeah. just no, cut them off the whole time. Equal. Ladies, the whole fucking night, you have to be cutting off mine fresh all night. The chat knows it. So he's trying to tell you what's up, but the whole night, all three of you, four of you, you ask questions and you become an axe hole and then you cut off the fucking uh, host. I told you guys before, don't do it. So chill the fuck out. I'm, I'm simply saying, guys, that believe all women is a dangerous precedent and the world doesn't owe you sympathy. If you're going to make an accusation, it's got to be substantiated by facts and logic and reason. If you were raped, go to the police. Period. Yeah. And then spend twenty thousands of dollars on lawyers and then end up the case getting thrown out. Oh. Which well, you don't know. Well, that. I put my you don't, you don't know that. As weird as it sounds, yes. sometimes it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. It's, it's not worth my not. mental trauma. I'd rather suffer at home than go to the police and suffer even more. In a That's your choice. Room. Then, then That's yeah, your choice. it is my choice. Your body, and, your choice. Exactly. That's fine. It is so, my choice. It and so, you go through with it. You're so, not. Why do I have to feel sympathy it. for you? I mentioned you it don't. because no one of owes the me statistics shit. you guys cool. are saying yeah. you want to be no respectful. We don't owe you shit. It, it, we don't owe you anything. So, like, if, if you were truly great, you should have went to the police. I was it's your, truly it's, great, it's your and civil I didn't duty. go to the police. You should have went to the police. Uh, All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I am too. All right, y'all can leave. Y'all uh, can leave. Like, right. the, the, I, right. I agree with you guys on that. I think that ideally you should go to the police. You should get a rape kit done ASAP. Yeah, like because then we can sit around here and throw accusations. I was great. A lot of women, look, they look, should, they should, but it's just and they it's, don't add a shame access, and embarrassment. So like, I, and they wait too long. But, but y'all should know that is an option for you. They will do a rape Nobody kit test and all of that. You know what all I mean? Right. I think we should totally change the subject. Yeah. This, yeah. This, this, this went yeah, this so is supposed to be like a this fun time. No. Let it donate yeah. to everybody on the show. It's been so far show. left. But guys, um, look at your viewers, though. <laughs> as intense as it's gotten, people want to see the shit. Yeah, so... um. You should have so, yeah. super fucking cool. I don't know what the fuck. Right, just, okay, yeah, so that got that got dark and that got deep. Yeah, like, the whole <laughs> really time fast. I've been like what the fuck? I mean, I mean, look, yeah. look, look. Um, okay. FYI, we're walking around in socks. Yeah, <laughs> no shoes on right now. They made me take off my Converse. <laughs> yeah. All right, fresh. Yeah. Uh, you you want to um, end the show? Yeah. yeah. So okay. So guys, this was a de definitely crazy show. Uh, a lot of good, a lot of bad here, but overall, you know, it was if, uh, if you don't super chat, so, so I think we have uh, uh we, got, we got some more here. Oh, uh, let me let me see. Bum bum bum, where <laughs> okay, see. we got a bunch of these here. Okay, so a Mustang salt emotional man is dangerous, men who are emotional are more very violent, chaotic, a stoic, non emotional man is stable, and think first logically what is right and wrong. Emotions is very deceptive. Okay. Uh, Diego Osoro, 100 bucks. Men should have places when they're already mentally unhinged. And on top of that, they listen to pop media telling them to be emotional, to get girls, and to pay for dates and be, and be providers. Then they find out the hard way that womanizers get laid without doing any, any of that. That's pretty true. Um, Simon, 50 bucks. If you guys are so scared of getting assaulted, go to the local gun shop. You guys have 300 bucks for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. true too. 20 cents that's solution. Second Amendment is there for a reason. Okay, cool. Mustang Salt. Uh, 749. Based from what these women are saying, 
It shows that men and women cannot never be uh, never be equal. Most because women uh, can play as victim trauma, making them exaggerated from fiction stories. Um, cool. Yeah, no offense. I'm not going to play the violin for women that cry about, you know, past experiences. Hey, if you get raped, go to the police. If you've been assaulted, go to the police. Yeah, you Clearly you're not a woman. You, you need to go. Well, can we totally here's the thing. No, 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 no. We're going to stick on this because because a lot no, of women like to play subject. the victim. No, we're not changing happy. anything. If you don't like it, you can leave, too. OK, but you haven't been a part of the experience. So go to police. Go to the police then. Okay, yeah, so police. you're not so a woman I, and you don't know what you would do in that situation. So go to the police. Go to the police. By it's the simple. Time I finally went to the police, the statute of limitations was over. No, 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 no. If a crime was committed, you should go to the police. So Period. Listen, you're right. Have right. Any the reality is this. No, y'all want to hear the real truth? No, 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 no. The real truth is this. It was gray area consent. There was some alcohol involved. You liked the guy, kind of. Maybe you didn't. Whatever it is. Is that and what that, you did? I was a child. No, but I'm is saying that, that happens a lot of the time. I'm not excusing anything. I'm okay, telling you to go to the but police. But you're making up a whole story have, that sounds like, a, a, question. like a personal a question. experience. Listen, is that what so you did? What should the point I have I'm trying done? trying to make is this. All right, yeah. I want to stay on the subject. I'm not, looks like what no. should I have done? Okay. I was 12. Yo, at the time, right. I hit it. I, it was a lot to deal with from family. That's another situation. That's another situation. No, 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 no. You want to be general. Because we're talking about her. She's an adult. I'm saying go to the cops. If you're an adult, go to the cops. The statute of limitation had ended. So what was I supposed to do? It was, it hurt me. You know, it, 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 it funded a lot of who I was look, as a person. Look, we're not going to talk about that on you, the air. I, I tried to change because the subject. The you M, to stay no, 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 no. Because no, I'm talking yeah. with her because she's like, I was, I did this. Well, this happened to me. I was like, go to the police. If you're an adult, go to the police or talk to, uh, talk to your parent and go to the police. Like, go to the cops, man. It's crazy how black and white it sounds to you. That's crazy. A crime was committed to you and you don't want to go and get the perpetrator and make sure he doesn't happen it doesn't happen to someone else? Has any crimes happened around you ever? Yes, yes. You and I go police? to the police. Yes. Have you gone every single time? Yes, pretty much. You go we go to the cops, man. Highly doubt it. We go we go to the cops. Unless Highly like it, it. It, if it's serious, we go to the cops, man. It is what it is. And that's serious. That's the truth. It's just that let's be honest here. A lot of the times it's gray area stuff. Alcohol was involved, they party, they kind of like the guy, they don't know if they like the guy. That's what happens. A lot like of I said, have you been that guy? Time, I'm not telling you. Yeah. Have you been that guy? Because it sounds like you know exactly what you're saying. No, but that's why <laughs> a lot of women don't go to the cops because it's that gray <laughs> but area that's stuff. that's not every woman's situation. You're speaking like, you know, from experience. Clearly. I mean, if you if, if cut them off and you know, right. shame them, then it's, it's Super a yeah, Like, I'm, I'm just trying to make a, a yeah, factual no point. point that you should go to the police. And you're like, I'm trying you? to make a point too. You? Like, you don't know everything that's going on in everybody else's life. Right. You know from your own experience, clearly, right? I know. Go to the cops if a crime is committed. Greg. Craig, right. 50 bucks. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, Let's man. Switch, the Let's Some switch people the get subject threatened. because we're not going to agree on it. Cool. Okay. Uh, Craig, 50 bucks. Men are afraid at night, too. I'm more likely to lose my life. Also, men don't report being a victim because of the stigma. And if the blonde doesn't think she benefits from colonizers, she should get rid of that smartphone made by slaves in China. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Jay Switz, 50 bucks. I don't believe men. I believe women. Why? Because humans tend to lie. I believe in only facts and evidence. I'm saying. Shout out to Myron, Huskies for Life. Props to you, Fresh, Chris, Trey. Keep the fighting good fight, brothers. There you go. Um, money bags 21, uh, 2021, 50 bucks. For the blonde girl in a black shirt. If you believe all survivors would, uh, would you have believed Carolyn Bryant? In 1955 when she accused Emmett Till. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, yeah. It's... Like, like, yep. Yeah. The thing is, is that it's, we live in a, a society now where it's like, if one makes an accusation, it's, it's true. No. We we need facts. Go to the police. File a report. The least. You, you know what do. I'm saying? Like, if it really, really happened to you, go to the cops, man. Because you're allowing a rapist to fucking uh, continue to do what he's doing. Yeah. Did you go know most cops. cases got dismissed? And there's actually no point in doing them? Because you don't have any factual proof? Yes, because you have to have facts to put someone in jail beyond a reasonable okay, doubt. Okay, exactly. What facts would you give in that situation? Well, what what type of facts would you give in that situation? Uh, well, they need to interview you. Uh, they need to do a rape kit. They need to actually establish that there was uh, a rape was kit. Forced. What would be included in a rape kit? What's what's a rape kit? You don't know what a rape kit is. Okay, let's move what? on. Let's move like, on. What are they gonna like? Let's no, let's, uh, let's right. stupid. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Brown. You're sitting here seriously arguing that you don't you don't know my experience and everything, and you don't even know what a R kit is. Can't make this up, guys. When you go to the hospital, can't make this yeah, up. They have to so test you for everything. Okay. Can't make this up. Okay, yeah. Saquon Brown, hundred dollars. Two to two to ten percent of accusations were recorded in ninety three. 
And now the record is 30 to 60%. I was accused by a nurse, lost my job. Even when she was proven wrong, I never got my job back and blackballed from being a doctor. Wow. Wow. Damn. A multi-site study of eight U.S. communities, including 2,059 cases of sexual assault, found a 7.1% rate of false reports. Damn, this girl missed it. Uh, a study of 136 uh, essay cases in Boston from 19, uh, 1998 to 2017 found a 5.9% rate of false uh, reports. Lee Esk et al. 2010. Damn, they're coming out with the facts on this one. 5.9%. Uh, Be Bryce. That's still false. that's 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 5.9%. False. That's still a lot of men. That's, no, that's the general statistic what he just said yeah 5.9 percent are false that's what they just said no right? false accusations right yeah. yeah yes yeah so so it happens uh, a black yes. man oh well hold it's on very we miss it oh, no, go on. A, I mean, uh, a black argue, man i would argue putting a man in jail any percentage is high that they didn't commit a crime oh, of course no of course they shouldn't go to jail i mean and, the whole and purpose obviously, obviously anybody accusing anybody oh, you're, you're college educated you, right but um yeah. Sort okay. Of. <laughs> so you're you're aware. So are you aware of the fact that the law was specifically written that it would be better to let criminals go free than to put an innocent man in jail? Right. That's why we have beyond a reasonable doubt as a threshold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So any man that goes to jail, when in a country that exercises due process, it's it's for a crime they didn't commit is the worst travesty a country can have, as far as you know, due process and law. Okay. So that's why 6% of guys going to jail off of false accusations is a serious problem, man, because the country is founded upon due process. That's what sets us apart from the other second and third world countries is due process and law. It's what this country is founded upon. So you guys can call me an asshole, but I don't believe all women. I don't believe all men either. Both parties lie and we got to hold both. If you guys want equality, equality comes with getting scrutinized just like men do. Man, I'm not disagreeing with you on that. I think proof is very important yeah but y'all were oh compassion and empathy and all this nah, now the world doesn't just, owe you that she was just telling you a story bro she was trying to tell you her experience and you just didn't let she doesn't even know what a rape kid is well then educate her you don't have to make her feel stupid no but like that, that's, that's what i'm trying to say like the, like like no question is ever a stupid question first well, of all, here's that's the thing. We learn in she school. went back and forth with me saying you don't know my experiments you don't know this it happened to me blah 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 she don't even know what a rape kid is i didn't say that she was asking you if you know okay. what a rape kit was. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I'm just going to bring it up and not know what it is. Like, come on, guys. Okay, so bring it up and explain. Does the man you, has his facts. Does it make you Look, feel empowered to like, bring people facts. down? I would love to know. I'm not bringing anything down. I'm simply saying that we need we need facts I'm to substantiate a claim facts that i'm seeing right now but. you know because you guys kept moving oh, the goalposts. i was followed one time oh no i was assaulted no actually you know what i was great it was like escalated like what and i'm saying okay. we just need proof all right okay if you're gonna make claims like that so uh, B. Price, B. Price, a, a black, black man get accused of stealing from a store is the same as false accusation for SA. Due process necessary. Facts are needed, not emotions. All yeah, right. that's all I'm saying. Awaken Samurai, 50 bucks. The world does not want any man or woman anything. The world's unfair and does not care about how you feel. Western women seem to be naive about this. These dames prove just how important it is to vet whatever woman he gets involved with. They got a vet heart, man. Yep. Uh, Ask Belt, 100, uh, 50 bucks. This isn't the time and place to switch and talk about men. This is a man's, a man's podcast. T, what are you doing on about? That's why they left, guys. Cool. Straight up. D Sharp is going to have a field day with this episode when he does this uh, breakdown tomorrow. Chaos Samuel is going to have a field day with these ladies in about 15 years. That is what it is, bro. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, yeah. And this is why, bro, we're we're having these uncomfortable conversations with women to their face. No one else is doing this, bro. You get canceled for talking like this. Um, okay, $50, Dr. Easy. Can't wait until this gets taken out of context by the haters. Shiz was a little too much of a clusterfuck, though. Made it hard to listen to, bro. But I understand it's a 4v1. Well, you know, that's why we're trying to do it what we can. Uh, girls should always report grape to save other girls from that person. Civil responsibility, ladies. Absolutely, man. That's all I'm saying, bro. I ain't saying it don't happen. I'm saying go to the cops. Cool. And uh, last one. Uh, all right. It is an awful crime and it needs to get reported. Like, it, it's the worst crime that you could do. Uh, Diego Osaro. Brunette cares so much about women's safety that, that she let a grapist off the hook because she was embarrassed and whatever happens to other women as a consequence suddenly doesn't matter. Ooh. You got a rebuttal for that? What are they talking about? They're talking about they're talking to her. You got something to say to that? It's true. <laughs> okay. How because is uh embarrassed? one in 1900 women being gra grape too many, but 2% of all grape accusations being fake. Not you're just another misandrist acting like a fake compassionate person on the screen. Also, it's two to 10%, not just 2%. There oh, yeah. The false grape accusations. Okay. okay. This was a right. loaded show, man. Yeah. Uh, Damn, well, we still got 13,000 live viewers right now. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Damn. That's uh, <laughs> people really enjoyed this one, man. I mean, hey, these are tough conversations. I don't mind being uncomfortable and talking about these things because these things need to be said. Fuck believe all women. Not everyone is a rapist. Rape hysteria is, a, is, is not true. We don't live in a rape culture. It's a lie. Rape is actually one of the crimes that's prosecuted the harshest in the United States. 
it is not incentivized for men to do that not to true. women. Not true. There's so many rapists that are like let off. They get months of jail. If and someone, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I simply said was it is one, it is a crime that is prosecuted to the full, full extent of the law. If you grape someone, right? No, there has been a lot of cases. Where you're going to go to jail for a long time. And but have here's only the thing. done five years, three years off of probation. Is okay. Again, it depends on the degree. But the point is, is that it is prosecuted, but it needs to be proven. Just like every other crime, it needs to be proven. But we don't live in a rape culture like people say, because if we did, we would allow people to do it. I wish the it. true victims get so lucky. What? I said, I wish that the true victims get so lucky that it does get convicted. But it doesn't always happen because not everybody always has the you're, evidence. You're missing my point. I'm saying that it is a crime that is prosecuted to the full extent. When If you are a rapist, you're going to go do a lot of time in jail. Here. You know what I'm saying? There are rapists. And I wish and I why there that one so guy, many that one So why there are so many predators? Like you can literally Google predators and see all the predators that live in your block. All those little red dots of people that got out. You just proved my point. Think about it. If I'm a murderer. But it's not on. to the fullest extent of the law. If you're yes, a murderer, you're going to go to jail for 25 to life. If you're a rapist, you might do five years. Okay, but here's the thing. And be you out might, in it two depends, years it and depends on the state. Probation. It depends on the state. Some states punish it more severely. But the point is, is that they still get punished for it. They, if they're convicted, they still do a certain significant, if it was to the fullest significant amount of, the of time. Law, they would be in jail, and, not on your block. And they yeah. get put on a sex offender registry, which destroys their life for the future. If I'm a murderer and I kill someone and I do 25 years, I come out. People won't know I'm a felon necessarily unless they do a background check. Mm -hmm. But if I get uh, uh, um, convicted of a sexual crime, I get put on the registry. I ain't going to get a job. Everyone knows where I live. They, I, In the United States, any type of SA is literally punished to the highest degree because that person has to live on the registry list after they do their time as well. And they get fucked up in prison. The point I'm trying to make is, is that we don't live in a rape culture, as you know, many feminists like to say. If we lived in a rape culture, it would be incentivized. It's not. It's punished severely, and there's consequences after the fact. It's just that we have to get to beyond a reasonable doubt to prove it. That's all I'm saying. Rule of law, man. Fellas, investing in cat and dog you Can't food. make crazy accusations and call someone a rapist without due process. Like, nah, believe all women is a, is a farce. All right. Invest in chewy. You know what I'm saying? Cat and dog food. Definition. Uh, a rape kit is a pet. <laughs> someone said it. Uh, for gathering and pre preserving physical evidence following an allegation. That's That's what it is. Uh, All right. Hustler with the big hundred dollar super chat. Thank, Thank you, Hustler. All right. Again, these are the tough conversations that have to be had, guys. You know, if I got to be the one to say it, it is what it is. You know, rape culture doesn't exist, man. It's a myth. The United States does not allow that to happen. If you get convicted, you do a lot of time, you get fucked up in jail, and you get put on a registry. Period. And here's the other thing if one makes a false accusation against you, you ain't going, to, she ain't going to jail. Nope. There's no consequences for women faking making false allegations. I heard that they were making it like because because of the fact that there were so many false allegations that they were coming down hard on women and still not punished though. Still not yet. Not yet. Still not punished. A woman yeah. can make a false allegation against you, no proof. She ain't gonna get prosecuted for it. Yep. Maybe for a false police report, which is a misdemeanor in most states. Fair. Huh? No, I'm saying I don't think that's fair. Mm -hmm. I think well, I think, I think if it's proven that you make a false allegation against somebody that could really affect their lives, you should be punished. Happens all the time, man. Yeah, it's all happens all the time. A catalyst. Yeah. They put you on a catalyst forever. Yeah, because no, like like I'm saying, like women want this. Well, you know, and vice versa. Like you want equality. Well, that's what it comes with. You we we had a girl on this show, man. Literally came on two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. She hooked up with a bouncer at a club. That bouncer at a club mm -hmm. went viral on the internet for punching someone. Right. She comes back and says, oh, yeah, that dude uh, essayed me but because he had a negative reputation. So she didn't want to be associated to him anymore. So what does she do? Oh, well, no, he, it was actually great. It wasn't for real. And her friend had to sit her down and say, do not fucking go out and say that. Yeah. It was consensual. You told me. But this is the world that we live in where women can retroactively retract consent. Crazy. At any time. At any time. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, ladies. I'm not saying that your struggle is not worthy of knowing and that, you know, it doesn't happen. I'm not saying that. I'm saying go to the fucking police. That's all I'm saying, man. Go to the cops so it doesn't happen again. Because when, when women make false allegations or whatever it is, it fucks it up for everybody else, man. Yep. That's also, what I'm saying. Also, like, don't walk around here unstrapped or just walk around here willy-nilly. Get a strap, get something, an item, something to protect yourself. It may not always win, but it's way better than walking out there always in a crop top and shorts and like, 
high heels, then nothing else in your purse. Like, yeah, you got to defend yourself too. You know, spray. these guys, there are weirdos out there. I, I agree. It's you know just what I'm unfortunate saying? unfortunate because so many people, when they're put in that situation, they, they don't, they freeze up, bro. Yeah, it's that's not, why you got to get strapped. If you have your rights, go get strapped. Yep, yo, they freeze up. You can preach all you want, but you don't know until you're in that situation. Things yeah. change up when you're there, man. It's, it's crazier than you think, you know? Right. Okay. Uh, so, guys, we're going to do a show tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, uh, 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got a show. We got a show tomorrow at 10 p.m., guys. Cool. Uh, we got 13,000 of you guys in here, man. Uh, you know, give a follow to the ladies on the panel. Yep. Uh, obviously, this was a tough discussion, but the ones that get on stay. Patreon. <laughs> the ones that yeah, 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 the ones the that stuck that around. I'm gonna take the other yeah, girls yeah. off. Uh, yeah. so yeah, guys, thank you for the support. We appreciate it greatly. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys tomorrow at 10. And uh, peace. Let's get it. Bye.